as my uh, teacher in FTII, Mr. Narya, Mr. Bipin, Bipin Chandra Narya, who has been the teacher for our entire generation of cinematographers, uh, used to say that uh, it is not the camera, but the eye behind the camera that is more important. You know, it's the eye that makes, if you have the eye, any camera, with any camera, you can create uh, an image. If you don't have the eye, you, you uh, or uh, you have an underdeveloped eye, uh, then uh, uh, you can get as more, most expensive cameras in the world, but still the mm-hmm. output becomes very, you know. Hi, guys. Welcome to Future Sound Media. This is Rahi here. And uh, today we have a very special episode uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, first reason is this is the first episode I am shooting from my uh, Bangalore place, basically. And this is the first uh, episode we are shooting from my Bangalore place. And it's uh, pretty, you know, interesting uh, from my end also that you know i don't know how it's going to go uh, but that is one of the reasons we have also a very special guest on the show whose name is uh, srijit srijit basu uh, i call him buban and he's a cinematographer uh, a, a great artist and a great thinker and a very very old friend of mine so yeah you know i won't kind of uh, take uh, you know kind of uh, keep on blabbering about it let's kind of bring him on the sh- yeah hi buban how are you doing hi 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 i'm good i'm good rahi i'm good thank you you're welcome okay so great to have you on the show and uh, it's been how long uh, since i think we were discussing this offline yeah. when was the last time we actually physically met it was i think 2015 16 right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 2015-16 and uh, right now we are at 2024. Oh man, so many <laughs> eight nine years. years. Eight nine years. And before that, 2015-16, I think uh, we had connected when uh, you know there was a time when I had started my music. Oh, it's a long, long story. So we will be getting into all those okay. things. But today we are uh, we are we are getting uh, Buban uh, that is Srijit. Um, for a completely different reason uh, because of his you know art form uh, his craft that he practices and i am you know one of the reasons as i said in the beginning i wanted to have him first on this uh, show from my bangalore place my bangalore you know kind of location is because how comfortable i am talking with him and i know it's going to be a great conversation we may just you know kind of talk i was telling him you know let's not kind of think about it let's talk about things you know that's that's the idea you are in right now in bombay right mumbai mm-hmm. you're in mumbai. Correct. mumbai where where are you located right now uh, i live in uh, malad malad okay so you're in bombay i am in uh, bangalore okay fair enough so buban uh, let's kind of start uh, you know in the beginning so you oh. are a cinematographer. Uh-huh. I uh, also know you. I, I I know that you know a lot of people might not know about it, but I know you. You when we had started, when we had first connected, uh, you had a lot of Pink Floyd influences. <laughs> you you were writing a lot of stuff. So yeah. I want to understand. Um, uh. so, so from that uh, you know time when when I had kind of met you. Till you know you kind of got into this. So was ye kira ke ab like pehle se hi tha ke mujhko ye film line me uh, ya TV line me kam karna hai ya I want to kind of capture things, capture images. How it kind of what was the transition about? Let me kind of understand. Uh, we met uh, when I think we were in school, right? <laughs> School, uh, yeah, South yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, like, yeah, we were in school, like mm-hmm. 10th, 11th, right? Correct, correct, uh, uh, correct. So we met around that time, and mm-hmm. uh, I and I used to write songs. I loved writing songs. Uh, mm-hmm. 
it's a extension of my uh, practice uh, that i do in poetry and uh, it's a practice it's, it's a, these are very pra- personal practices that i follow mm-hmm. i've been following since then uh, there now it has converted into writing haikus uh, and uh, i've been because uh, you know it's more precise and it is more crystallized form of expression i find a mm-hmm. uh, haiku and also it's like a, a, it's a it's, it's a place of mindlessness or a thought thoughtlessness uh, that i can experience uh, when i am writing a haiku or a or, or a poem or i doing my abstract art so these days i am also into abstract art i do okay. mixed media work and things okay. like that uh coming back to your question uh, i never thought i would come into film making or cinematography or um, you know television or anything in that way uh, it it was a sequence of events that happened and um, uh, honestly getting through fti was a was by pure luck and chance as you know that there are uh, only eight general cat- category seats there and uh, it's a um, uh, international it's a exam that happens nationally as well as internationally because there are int- international students there um so yeah like getting through fti was actually it was it it, it was an event in my life that uh, uh, changed a lot of things um yeah okay so uh, first coming back to the main question so if uh, first of all you kind of mentioned haikus for the uninitiated uh, what is in haiku what is a haiku <laughs> uh, uh, i would prefer rahit you to explain that no, because no, i am i am very I am, uh, no 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 i am very see, I, the only thing i could understand from that uh, is that you know when you mentioned the uh, abstract art when you mentioned haiku i i thought that okay the questioning now might get into zen okay because i practice zen now abhi ye show pura zen mein chala jayega to different ho jayega that that's the reason i'm asking because see, I, if i if i start asking questions in a in the lines that i want to ask the discussion will completely go into somewhere else that's the reason let I it go there no people. let it go there let it go there because i feel that we resonate uh, we resonate there hmm okay. as two souls we resonate there okay so in that case i'll i'll, I'll pick it up uh, i will not ask you what is a haiku i i, I will not ex- explain what is a haiku uh, but i would uh, pick it up from you know uh, this is i'll tell you there was a like pause so we are in march right now when we are shooting this sorry april ho gaya april this is yeah first, first of april, april. right mm. and the last shooting i had done was in january most probably 5th or 6th after that i was relocating like all my shoots mm. were freezed and my mm. last shooting i had done was with suraj suraj uh, mm. jagan okay mm. so uh, he mentioned uh, something regarding satori so mm. let me ask you a question uh, like mm. have you ha- heard about satori's what is a satori no to- no you, you don't know what is a satori but, but you know please tell me you know yes, haiku because yeah 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 i know haiku okay it's it's like sudden realization okay so why why do you think that uh, this expression is very important to like to you like hi hi cool when you're writing it why do yeah. you think the specific form is important to you let me kind of ask it in that way then we'll get to the because it is it is like the droplet of dew hmm. on a leaf that is the the beauty the precision of nature coming in one tiny moment which is in the now okay in the now yes in the now in the now you know the next question are you guessing the next question uh, because i you know this was not on my list but i remember we were kind of discussing uh, i had uh, done a video on eckhart tolle's the power of now yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. then you had kind of said also uh, regarding you know uh, the influence so let's talk about eckhart tolle once like let's talk about the power of now let's talk about the importance of now see i'm i'm telling you we this conversation is going to go completely cinematography idhar chala jayega we are talking oh, but, uh, uh, but i think it's connected me, also 
it's all connected yeah yeah it's all connected you know uh, it's all connected and uh, uh, one cannot exist without the other correct correct that is very so uh, so yeah so so what do you want to talk about uh, ekat tole's part of, of now. now how how did it influence you ah uh, how did i uh, uh, reach out to it matlab like how how did it happen to me yeah what what changed like what what happened before and after like after uh, you you kind of read the ideas of ekat tole uh, yeah so of, so i uh, so a lot of things happened uh, personally uh, post uh, the lockdown uh, and uh, i had a severe mental health crisis uh, and uh, there was a lot of uh, negativity in there and there was uh, some deaths in the family and some family health issues uh, overall mm-hmm. it was a very anxious time and, and um, i for i hit a brick wall uh, mentally uh, uh, that's when i started realizing that my mental health crisis that i have that i have tumbled upon a mental health crisis situation and i started seeking help my uh, wife uh, ha- suggested me to uh, talk to a counselor a psychotherapist and i started doing sessions with them and that's when i uh, one of my psychotherapists uh, suggested me to go through the power of now and um, it was miraculous thing that happened uh because power of now literally uh what should i say it's like um, it started uh bringing a lot of sense to my thought process uh and uh, is uh, and also knowing how to differentiate between the mind and the thought uh and the consciousness and all of that and 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 that understanding is very helpful and uh, that inner body uh, 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 you know understand um, uh, awareness and awareness of of the breath and all of that uh, they all started following coming one by one by one i knew i uh, so when i was doing haikus before i was not aware of uh, making the mind blank uh intentionally i couldn't do that um and uh, even while i was work all these years i could not uh, make the mind blank intentionally and it was always a very stormy sea that i was riding uh, but then uh, with the power of now with the meditation practice that i've been following uh, and my painting and writing things are coming together right so you know like the the whole, uh, whole idea i i can like talk on this like you know i i if i remember this like when i even i had gone to bombay and mm-hmm. i had met you at that point of time uh even okay even fti i ka time pe bhi yeah yeah i also oh. when met you in fti when i was doing this uh, uh small course that i was doing on sound uh us time mein bhi i was carrying that book okay the power of now okay so that's the thing and i used to now i do not carry any books now i am like you know you can see this one suitcase the idea is about minimalism one suitcase one rucksack i am you know you call me bombay goa patna pune bihar jharkhand jahan pe bolo main aa jaunga so you know <laughs> that is a lot of uh, like clutter this uh, you know so where i feel that you know uh, the power of now was so important and i think it took me i'm still learning the concept uh uh-huh. that one book i still have you know on my audible uh like what i do is that sometimes when i go go back to sleep say like today you know like today from the morning you know i had a kind of uh, i had a day in office i was not supposed to go to office i was supposed to work from here uh, but i had gone and uh, you know and then this is uh, like this is very uh, refreshing that knowing that you know at 6 i've got a meeting and you know <laughs> i'll be talking that's is one of the reasons i do it similarly uh, this power of now has something about it okay like yeah. uh, when we talk about you know mm, the you know you are not your mind mm. 
right you talked see i i i first of all i am very uh, you know uh, i do appreciate that you openly said that you know you had taken help regarding mental health and everything because it's it's something which we don't talk about you know which which uh, something which is very kind of taken for granted that uh, you know and uh, people feel weak uh, to uh, kind of express uh, that and you know we have such certain kind of taboos there but i think for artists specifically and we'll get into if you remember uh, one you have, you had given me a lot of films on a hard drive you remember oh. on your terrace i had gone and you know i had collected so many films and all like world cinema so uh, oh. like we'll get into that uh, but my point is that so as artists it's very important uh, to feel it but not get affected by it and make oh. it and express it so you are the catalyst okay oh. you're the creator you're a, you're a, you're a creator you're the catalyst so for you are you to kind of imbibe and say uh, what should i say an experience and oh. reflect it on to your screen uh, or you mentioned painting or you mentioned uh, you know your haikus uh, uh, to do it flawlessly and acting like a sponge Oh. not acting like uh, the you know like you do not become anger you know anger oh. like you do not become the emotion that is it just oh. of, so that is what the whole power of now talks about to understand oh. that whenever you know we feel agitated or we feel disturbed stress that this is this, this you you are not you are you're not your mind first of all you're not okay. the situation you're you, this this is what ekart tolly also said you know like this is your life and this is your life situation yeah so what okay. happens is that, that that's exact i'm paraphrasing what ekart kind of says okay. uh, so life situation it's okay. very important to kind of you know differentiate between the both and uh, i do not i feel very bad about people who do not know about ekart tolly's okay. work trust me why because it is such an eye opener think about it oh. if if before i don't know how it happened with you but before we realized that uh, you know kind of uh, you are not your mind we would oh. always identify uh, who i am with what is happening in my mind right oh. at least this is how oh. my kind of things went anyways you know again i can talk and talk and talk and this is not going to be an interview this is going to be a discussion on ekart tole ho gaya chalo already 17 minutes into the discussion we are just talking about a book no issues i think you know we we'll, i do not want to kind of uh, i'm okay you know with uh, how many much time it takes i want to have a good so, conversation so 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 yeah. rahi just to add uh, recently yeah. i've been uh, uh, listening to spotify um and there is a session called essential teachings of ekhat tole uh, which i really follow uh and i would suggest everybody uh, who has any kind of anxiety disorder or if they just just get into stress and anxiety and anger just follow just listen to ekhat tole before going to sleep box box mera so, so yeah. there is this this power of now there is and there is a small book called practicing the power of now yes 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 so that is a 2 hour audible uh, you know book what i do is yes, that yes yes in a weekend if i am like you know morning mein main janta hu you know like like my whole week has been very uh, so you know like the kind of work that i do i'm sure you know it works with you also <coughs> like you guys have deliverables mm. right and mm. everything mm. has to be perfect so a lot of stress kind of happens sometimes hmm. and you need that so us time it's like a quick you know top up like i know okay 2 hours i'm giving i know i'm going to be at least in uh, like you know 35 to 40% more zen than i was before so hmm. that's how i even write you know i'm very finicky about it i write down hmm. what's my zen question so like very ocd about those things but it hmm. helps uh, kind of uh, practicing the power of now there's whole new thing you know the a new earth was his next book yeah uh that is what also fascinating but i'll tell you one thing uh, getting into a new earth was uh, kind of uh, i still have not been able to you know take in take in the whole essence of the power of now as in you know i first want to be a level hota hai jaise gaming ka level hota hai na so i'm still stuck in the level 
and yeah. it it is going to it, it is already i think has taken me 10 years to kind of understand this and i'm still you know uh, kind of learning yeah. and i think it's yeah. a, it's a great thing and i find people who have actually uh, i did not know you know like when you had mentioned to me that you know i did not know that you you uh, were yes yeah, so this is this is what happens so there is a connection uh, you know the same kind of yes. uh, people will end up it's i don't know uh, by the way have you seen this i was watching on netflix a uh, three body problem yes yes you, yes yes oh yes my yes crazy. i've i've I, even read the book yeah. i've even read the books the uh, by cecin liu and uh, you should try uh, listening to them in audible if you have if you are subscribed to audible uh, 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 they are yeah hmm. they are uh, they are fantastic they are the uh, i think after dark uh, dark was my last most uh, favorite web series in science fiction genre uh, after dark it would be this one no after dark there uh, before dark there was there, there, there is a series called dev 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 it's about a super super computer and all of that and then there was dark and then now I, it's three body problem and uh, it's uh, it's beautiful yeah and and it's yeah. a beautiful adaptation it's a beautiful adaptation the book is so mm-hmm. the book is a little different mm-hmm. the uh, the series is uh, a little di- a little different and uh, people who have read the book will know that the second season is going to be kick ass okay fair enough i i finished the first season and but i did not like the ending because i i, I thought that thora or as in more stuff could have been added to the first season because it's like yeah 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 okay, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, i am not even going to give you spoilers i am not even going to okay, give you spoilers do not, about three body do not do <laughs> because at the end they are saying you know there were most probably these three folks are standing on that ea and talking about bugs and yeah. uh, it just ended it i felt that you know i could have got more uh, i was expecting yeah. and i thought okay and incidentally that was like before i was like shifting here as in uh, you know kind of it, it was the last thing i most probably watched before taking uh, my uh, you know uh, uh, whatever you know to this destination and uh, so significant it was significant like because i have dogs in my calcutta place okay so it's like yeah uh, they have been taken care of right now at there only uh, but uh, that was also kind of a challenge mm. also for me to mm. kind of you know leave all these things <clears throat> and i'm very used to and uh, buwan i can talk about these things with, with, with because you know you you'll kind of get the background man and you know and this is the first podcast yeah. i'm doing from bangalore so i i need to talk about this how, uh, how different <laughs> and this is see this is going to be uh, uh i think it's uh, a documentation of our times that is it so i feel a need so i do not i used to have the habit of kind of keeping journals so from for now is like you know i don't keep journals i i do podcasts so like <laughs> your journal is getting written here my journal is also going written here so yeah anyways coming to the point is that uh, what is your thought about minimalism uh, have you have you heard about it yeah, minimalism yeah. do yeah, do you yeah, agree yeah. to it I, do you follow it uh, uh, any any points pointers on that i would rather approach it uh, from the point of detachment hmm okay 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 so uh uh because uh see when i started painting i paint uh, abstract okay mm-hmm. just abstract landscapes and uh, if you want i can share some uh, images with you okay. my paintings okay. and all great great and so you want me to send them to you right away I- you can, can send, you can send right it away. i can uh, you can do one thing you can just send it to me in my email send it to me right now okay uh, send it to so rahi ha huh. send it to uh, rahi c dot official adrit whatsapp pe kolbo should i send it in whatsapp oh uh, it would no uh, don't do it on whatsapp oh uh, uh, Ra- okay okay uh, rahi c what uh, just say rahi rahi it's rahi. going to be rahi c ha huh? uh, dot official dot official 
So you've sent it already? Yeah, yeah, I'm sharing. Uh, there are so many of them. Share uh, like the favorite, you know, four, five, what you have. Yeah, yeah I'm sharing one. It will take just a minute. Hmm. And you will see when you look at them, they are actually coming from a space of uh, mindlessness. Hmm. Because you will connect with them immediately. Okay. What's your take on South Indian food? Do you like it? Hate it? I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. You know, I was, there's this place nearby. It's called the uh -huh. Like uh -huh. the, the only thing I've come, you know, from coming to Bangalore is that I'm, I'm, I'm just eating South Indian food all the time. It's like, I've been missing it for so long. Like, you know, in, uh -huh. in Calcutta, you can obviously order it, but it's, it's, it's uh -huh. same taste. Nahi hota hai, bhai. That's, you know, that's the thing. I have this, and I'm now right now an egetarian. So only uh, protein source of protein in the morning is eggs that I boil and have. Uh, but apart from that, you know, all idli, dosas and all that. Gora. Even uh, office may when I go, I'm having uh, that. Pretty nice. But you get fantastic non-veg in, in Bangalore. Uh, no. South Indian non-veg. What, what did I say? I'm an egetarian. Yeah, you can. So, egg only, eating, you can get eggs. Egg. Okay, the idea is that when I'm having eggs, only boiled eggs in the morning. It's zen. Huh. I do not. And okay. also, you know, like, idea is that uh, sadvik thora food khayenge. Uh -huh. okay, I've had a lot of spicy food. I'm not, uh -huh. you know. My kind of right now approach is having a minimalistic point. Rahi, I just shared three three paintings with you on the email. Achha. Let me pull this up. Uh... The uh, two of them are acrylic on canvas. The uh, sorry, one is acrylic on canvas. One is pastel uh, mixed media. The second uh, oil pastel mixed media, and the third one is ink. So the first one is ink, the one that you will see. The second one is. I can keep sharing more. Let me do one thing, Pelena. I'm I'm adding my iPad as a secondary display so that I can okay. take it. I kind of uh, wait. Yeah, yeah, take it. Uh, it's not going to take a lot of time. It's just going to get two minutes. Let me see how uh, add this player. Yeah. There's my iPad. Uh -huh. Okay, I sure. Okay, I think iPad is done. Main display. This is extended object display. Okay, I've got it on this. I'll put it here and I'll see it and also I'll try to show it. Fair enough. So this is your. So let me share my screen and. Okay. So let me do one thing. Uh, uh -huh. Present. So Share screen. Okay. Okay. I'm sharing this screen. You're able to see. So yeah. This is okay. That is okay. that is ink. That is that is ink on uh, paper. That is ink on paper. This this one, na? Upar wala. The first one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. It's gonna come. Huh. Okay. The second is one is, huh? Uh, so tell me more about this first one. Uh, let's kind of get back to the first one. Tell me more about this. What was the idea? What this is called? 
Hi, it's all of them are one just un, no name man. Okay. And when when, I don't when have did a you name kind for of do this? When did you kind of uh, do this? I like, did this last year. I did this last year. Okay. Oh. Like this is uh, very abstract. This is uh, yes. pretty abstract. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. That is the zone there that I uh, I love. I love that space. I love abstract okay. art because it is very pure. uh and it takes you to a point of and every time we engage with it 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 jolts us to go from our thought to the th- uh, to a point of thoughtless awareness mm-hmm. you know okay so fair enough let's uh, see the next one okay what's the idea behind this ah this is uh it just happened there yeah. most of the things that i do just happen there is no idea that i don't plan for it like that you know mm-hmm. okay. you know it just these kind of things just happen uh i start this is a oil pastel okay on it's, paper it's, is yeah. this a name penultimate full size rend- render ye ye name hai ya it's just a, a pro forma that comes no no no, no it is something no 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 this is something that penalty No, no, it, it's so strange. It's been the ultimate full. <laughs> I, I thought it was some, <laughs> कुछ Floydish something, कुछ might हो जाएगा या something like that. नहीं, 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 नहीं. This is, this is nothing like that. It, I just don't know. It's, it's saved it's it like, like that. The three body problem. They are watching you. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they yeah absolutely. They, they wrote that kind of. Uh, actually, what do you think about the three body problem? Like, you, you think that it actually is possible? It's like something like that is can happen. But, So yeah absolutely of- uh, uh, there's a high 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 possi- possibility that we are not uh, we are censoring our history uh, mm-hmm. uh, 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 yeah so 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 that is acrylic on paper the first one was ink the second one was uh, pastel the third one is uh, acrylic and the, the size of all of these three are a4 okay okay so again this is one Two, three. Just have check you your tried? email. I have, sh- I have shared uh, another three. Another three. Okay. Two. Let's get into this. Okay. This is. Yeah. This uh, is acrylic. Tell me more about this. Okay. Did you learn? It's a stone How formation. Okay. I did not learn this. It it uh, I st- oh, so my wife gave me uh-huh. her uh, acrylic material and I started scribbling and doing these things and it just mm-hmm. started happening. Okay. I feel that uh, uh that uh, art happens uh when we are not thinking. Mhm. Okay. you know because when when we are consciously thinking we are trying to construct something we are not mm-hmm. being the vessel through which the universe is communicating that's what i feel mm-hmm. okay this is interesting i like the colors yeah. of this actually it's, it's <laughs> really yeah i like the combination of uh, how it is kind of cool so what's the idea behind this why don't you name your when yeah, is guess- this some Why don't you name your uh, whenever you are doing any? I am so art, impatient, yeah. Because every time I name them, na, they become something. I don't. I want them to be formless. That's a. That's something mm-hmm. that I. 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 It's. A, it's a pure form of expression, yeah. Uh, it's something which I. It, it's. Even I am not thinking when I am doing it. Mm-hmm. One color leads to the other. One shape leads to the other. One movement of the brush goes to the other. Sometimes the 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 knife uh, takes an edge of some other color, and some other color pops out. This is the way it happens. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Hmm. So, are you now like a coffee person or a tea person? Black coffee or tea? I don't. I don't drink black coffee as such. I avoid drinking black coffee. I drink a little bit, a little bit of milk, but uh, I don't drink much uh, uh, coffee or tea that much. But like just my two cups but a day. In FTI, you used to have like so much. You yeah. know, I'll tell you one thing. The first thing I did, yeah. uh, uh, you know, I even packed like when I was traveling. 
Yes. I packed my kitchen utensils, but I had my you know coffee with me. Coffee is something <laughs> which I don't know. I cannot live without it. Something. I need to have yeah. my coffee. Yeah. Right? Let's talk about coffee then. What are your favorite beans? Or are you going for instant? I, I, it, it is. It is not like that. I'm a very. I'm a. I come from a very middle class background. I'm a very <laughs> poor person. I do not get into very exotic coffee. मेरे लिए coffee है black coffee. सुनना चाहते हो what is my preference? That is basically yes. Nescafe. That's just basic. Okay. I okay. do not have uh, you know that thing. मेरा coffee चाहिए very simple black coffee that is okay. there, pretty affordable. No, okay. because see, I already have. I'm trying to eliminate things from my life. Okay, like uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. I'll tell you the sense of okay. Let me get into this next wala. Okay. Uh-huh. ठीक है, कम टू दिस दिस लेट मी काइंड काइंड ऑफ 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 सी एंड ये व्हाइल आई आई सो द इज़ इज़ राइट नाउ फॉर मी यू नो लाइक सेड नो दिस माय सिक्स सिटी एंड आई एम लाइक इन द रॉन्ग आई बी गेटिंग इनटू द रॉन्ग साइड ऑफ थर्टी यू नो एट द एंड ऑफ द मंथ ओके लाइक या सो आई बी गेटिंग इन so uh, over the years i have accumulated so many musical instruments so many books so many cl- clothing so many uh, things right uh, and i was realizing this okay and this is a conversation uh, uh, you know i i would like to have because you know uh, it's very important now 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 it, it's a point of time where you know this this comes every time so like i realize that you know the last five times when i have packed every time i've learned something new from a new city okay yeah. so when i had shifted every time i've shifted to a new city maybe i've left the uh-huh. city later uh, uh-huh. but uh, like my packing pattern has changed that is what i've realized and uh-huh. that also shows uh, how how kind of my uh, take on things as in you know like uh-huh. how i uh, look into things and uh, how i've kind of grown and now it's like you know after a uh, there's this um, what should i say after a level of indulgence into all the materialism all the capitalism all basically charbak ha huh? that is the thing so uh, you know you you want to kind of you know i've always been kind of spiritual but actually i i think that i was like i had a lot of materialistic things so now now again i'll i'll keep mm. like hammering the idea it's like first of all you know my necessities the things obviously the gadgets i i cannot live without my technology obviously mm. so i i have this podcast setup uh, i have you know all my kind of stuff that is required for the podcast and kind of recording that is there my hard disks are mm. very important like mm. mera heart le lo mera hard <laughs> kind of things i would get a kind of heart attack so i am very kind of finicky mm. about that mm. and overall i think uh, this you you heard about this thing called digital nomad right yeah this yeah. word digital nomad so mm-hmm. this is this is very you know popular nowadays in uh, in the us and you know in the western mm. countries and uh, you know people who have been like very much uh, has uh, you know kind of affinity towards acquiring things Uh-huh. are getting into you know, this flexibility of like you know i love how you know my work permits to kind of uh, me to work hybrid man you know i uh-huh. really that's the reason one of the reason i've stuck to the company that I, obviously great company that i work for but uh, it really helps me you know like i choose how uh-huh. i work you know i can kind of that is uh-huh. very important for me uh, so yeah coming back uh-huh. to the whole thing ke uh, getting back from coffee so that's the thing so i do not want fancy coffees i know there are people you know so i've been there done that but not with coffees but with the other things but mera kya hota hai na at the end of the day if you love a brand you stick with it like i'll i'll, I'll talk <laughs> about perfumes what is your what, what is a perfume that you love the most i'll, I'll give you an example bolo what is the perfume mm. that you use perfume yeah, what perfume me? that you use what perfume what do you use what i use i use a lot of lot of companies hmm आई एम आई एम ऑलवेज इन टू जानते हैं तुम्हारा टॉप 3 बोल दो भाई टॉप 3 चैनल वुड बी वन ऑफ देम हम्म चैनल व्हिच वन अह चैनल एलियोर ओके और देन 
there is one that i was using last year it was a hugo boss something okay yeah and uh, then there was a uh, and one i really liked was and all my perfumes is my father gets them uh, as a gift to me you know so okay, wow. so yeah uh, so right. so whenever so so that is something that i really i'm grateful to him because he introduced me to the world of perfumes i i see uh, because i was never into perfumes that much and uh, with him i started my father is very much into perfumes and all the, the kind of yeah yeah that. yeah he has been the, uh, he has been a uh, enthusiast about perfumes for a, for a very very long time actually Uh, and yeah, um, one of yeah. Those things you know like for perfumes is again it's one of those hobbies one of those uh, kind of things yeah. which yeah and and you know, the my top 3 was that chanel uh, one was hugo boss and is uh, burberry burberry okay fair yeah. enough have you heard about uh, this uh, thing called creed aventus no no have you heard about the company called creed aventus so it's like the top no you know okay. creed aventus is like top like very very top so yeah uh, i do not use creed aventus but obviously uh-huh. uh, you know uh-huh. very humble background uh, what i do is that uh, at this is again this has been i've been doing this for past again 10 11 years whatever i have stuck you know if i like something i stick with it I, that's it uh-huh. so there's this company called armaf uh, they okay. make uh, they are basically you know based in dubai and okay. uh, you know they have uh, i think uh, in france also uh, so okay. they are basically they are they, they copy the perfumes so the okay. creed aventus is for like the you know hollywood guys and these kind of folks afford it uh, so they huh. basically it's a copy of creed aventus and this uh, perfume is called um, club de nuit intense man okay you can search it okay it's uh, it's is one of the perfumes i've stuck with it is pretty cheap okay compared uh, to obviously like you know i think the uh, creed aventus is like 10x more pricey than the uh, main thing mm. but uh, it's but it's it's it has that okay it's, it's the familiarity of it similarly uh, with perfume okay, because it is just first of all when i had that you know like uh, love for coffee it was at that point of time i really did not understand why uh i can tell you why uh, a bit because at that point of time uh, i was working nights okay like yeah. you know my studio work used to studio mein time nahi hota hai and you know i was getting a lot of less sleep uh, at that point of time so i knew oh. that i needed to kind of be productive and all so there that kind of thing came in so yeah coming back to coffee um, oh. you just said you like milk uh, is it because of rothon i i'm not seeing rothon anywhere can we have no, rothon is behind the curtain yeah <laughs> so um, like no i i i like it with a with a spoon of milk because it just lowers my acidity my stomach acidic acid levels <laughs> okay see okay, that is what enough. that is what what we talk about on the other side of 35 you know <laughs> yeah all right 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 yeah right. and yes. uh, i started getting into coffee because i quit smoking in fti and uh, that was a very significant uh, uh event in my life because i was a chain smoker before that mm-hmm. and so uh, when i quit of... oh. uh, go ahead bol huh. sorry to interrupt hmm so so no, so when i quit smoking i went cold turkey you know and uh, yeah. so i um, so i uh, and it was very difficult the first 3 months mm. uh, to talk about uh, you know to 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 quit smoking but once the withdrawals were over uh, were over i started uh, taking up coffee uh, as a passion and i started following it up and uh, till date uh, it it has uh, left a little uh, place in my heart hmm right nice so yeah. one of my favorite beans yeah. in india mm-hmm. one of my mm-hmm. favorite beans in india so i drink only bean coffee uh, and uh, for me yeah, instant okay. is a little uh, yeah 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 and no, no, for I, me I, I the best yeah yeah 
so so uh, the favorite beans for me is Maver maverick and farmer it has uh, it's got uh, one brand called two beans in a pod uh, uh, it is uh, maverick and farmer is owned by uh, mahesh bhupati and his wife okay lara datta and i stumbled upon uh, them in one of the coffee festivals that happened in bombay and uh, two beans in a pod is very interesting the coffee bean is roasted with uh, with uh, cocoa bean okay so the taste is very uh, unique and okay. uh, yeah but my go to coffee in bombay every day is bombay island it's one of the best uh, mysore nugget beans that one can get Mm hmm. Okay. Fair enough. So, 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 yeah. I learn, so, so. I learn more about coffee from you. I learn more about <laughs> coffee from. You. I just don't want to kind of you know get into a like fascination. And you are in Bangalore. Time. You are in Bangalore. You are in Bangalore. Yeah. You are in the hub of coffee in this country. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I if I was there, I I would every day go to a new cafe, try out a new bean. I wish I have that time. Really, you know, I I have to wake up every day at uh, and start my day around eight, and before that also that is there. And in the evening, to be very honest, uh, I like to do this. I like to do podcasts. So I'm I'm more of a podcast connoisseur right now. So people connoisseur, like you sure. you you like it different. Your coffee is different. I like my people different. Let's kind of put it that. My so beautiful. Goodness. This is again a that three body problem thing. They were kind of uh, comparing people to bugs. Here I compare people yes. to coffee. Man, crazy <laughs> how kind of. <laughs> Sorry, you know, like getting okay. Let's kind of go back to the main point where we were uh, kind of seeing yeah the pictures, and yeah, let's kind of we did not uh, discuss this. Uh, let tell me something <laughs> about this. What 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 is this? Oh my. I don't know, man. It's balance, maybe trying to trying to find balance. So, so that is something that I do very consciously. I am deeply inspired, uh, or, or 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 deeply affected by the works of uh, Vasily Kandinsky. Um, uh, um, then I really look at works of Paul Klee. uh that's from europe from india i'm deeply impacted by the works of uh, uh, v s gaitonde uh, okay. uh and uh, um, ram kumar okay. so when i look at their work mm -hmm. i uh, try to go uh i don't try to think that's the first thing when people uh, when people ask me what does my painting mean because i gift so so what i do as a part of my spiritual practice i paint and i gift it to people uh, that's yeah. something i do uh, it's a part of my spiritual practice uh, and i gift yeah. it to people for money for no money at all it's a gift uh, mm -hmm. and uh, and that is something i do and and i would love to keep doing that uh okay. because uh, you know uh, when i am making uh, one of these abstract artworks it is the uh, first mm -hmm. thing when people ask me that so what what does this mean or how should i look at it i keep telling them that you know that's only thing that you have to do is engage with it and not look at it engaging means that when you when you stop your thinking process trying to rational process and try to see uh, ke uh, you know ra uh, rather than try to feel you know when we look at abstract work our mind uh, goes from being a rational logical uh, brain to uh, from there to a more uh, a more spiritual place to a to a more uh, more thoughtless space to us to a space where we are just connected to the universe uh, as i am and uh, and that is where my paintings connect with me and that's where i uh, i i wish it connects to other people also okay this is great uh, since we are talking about you know art and everything let me kind of ask you something regarding books yeah. do you read yes 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 i just okay, finished uh, i i am in the second book of the three body problem i am at uh, the dark forest 
the first book is the okay. three body problem the second book is the dark forest the third book is the death end and uh, they are a trilogy of the earth's remembrance of the past by cixin liu okay so do you read physical books or do you have a kindle or do you read it from your ipad what do you, what what are you comfortable with i love to read physical books but the kind of uh, but i also but a lot of physical books are not available mm-hmm. so okay. then i have to go to digital books right because again you know, this is one thing also i wanted to kind of discuss because again mm. coming back to that minimalism thing one of the things that i have found very very hard okay like you talked about quitting smoking smoking is as I, i i don't smoke now you know but my point is that one of the things that i've found very hard is to not buy physical copies uh, you mm. know that of books you know like you, you've been to my place i think a long time yes. back but after that i i think you have okay. seen some of the these videos uh, podcasts some sometimes us may have seen yeah. you know in my back end so basically my calcutta crib like filled with books and you know like after oh. the point i tried quitting buying books because it was happening like uh i do not know you know now now the point is that you know i i tried quitting buying books and completely go digital most probably uh, it was uh, Mm, 5 years ago i failed yeah. miserably uh 2 years ago once again i tried i failed miserably thankfully mm. netflix came in i i was more into you know i stopped reading that much books i kind of you know watched more uh, netflix i actually ruined my habit to kind of you know read books at that point of time later nowadays what my uh, you know kind of uh, thing is that i have only carried the bhagavad gita with me the small bhagavad gita okay when i've kind of traveled uh, from there not a single hmm. other book okay hmm. and every book so one of my favorite authors is robert green i don't know if you have heard about him okay. and i keep kind of uh, reading a lot of uh, books uh, on management jaise tumhara hard work business reviews book so all those things are on my ipad and i i feel again you know that that change has kind of helped me but it i am also telling one thing uh, do you like listen to a lot of audio books you just mentioned decart yes. tolles uh, yes, all that yes. teaching so i think audio books are also na, uh, one of the things that is, is very uh, you can do a lot of things i can cook you know or you know i can yes. have a morning walk when i'm listening to something audio books yes. uh, so like you listen to a lot of audio books yes uh, what, what is your so if I, if i give you a kind of a 100% if say is a whole thing so out okay. of so i'm just trying to understand your consumption of uh, books okay how yeah. you consume books just to kind of yes. understand where where i am in the spectrum so, so i don't know if you're like very cognizant about how you kind of do it but just if you could give me a kind of a number on this so say your total consumption of books is 100% right to usme se how much is reading physical copies how much is reading digital copies how much is audio book and how much is yeah uh, these three let's kind of keep it three options only yeah so in 100% so so, so i would literature? i would answer this i would answer this in a, a way that uh, uh, all visual books uh, i need a physical copy visual books means graphic novels art books mm-hmm. uh, and uh, you know uh, painting books on painting books on photography books on uh, uh, you know things like that visual books where where, you, where there is visual image or illustration uh, those books i i need physically uh, for me looking at, uh, to read them on a uh, kindle becomes very difficult because i have to hmm. look at but kindle will not have a, you know color also no no not not kindle ipad yeah ipad yeah ipad okay. yeah so okay. i buy those books and the books that i know that i have to read word by word word by word i i prefer to go with them on audible but audible i have also spoken to audible people and told them their their uh, their uh, 
the library is very limited uh, with audible i have spoken to them about multiple times about the book that i want to read is never there like like let's let's be like in audible uh, there is shantaram okay but the second part of shantaram is not there it is there in german but it's not there in english so 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 then i requested them that uh, please release it uh, in audible so that all of us uh, can uh, go through it so things like that uh, you know um, and being an ardent science fiction fan um, you know i am a complete science fiction fantasy buff uh, um, you know audible has actually helped me has opened a lot more uh, for me i uh, Audi- with audible i started reading graham hancock uh, which which really changed my understanding of uh, of human civilization and history okay so if i may ask you one thing that you know since we are talking regarding books and everything mm-hmm. uh, like yeah. what is the book or you know kind of books uh, most as a gift by, by the way have you given uh, given books as a gift to anyone you just said that you uh, give your art as uh, gifts so let me kind of ask that first so 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 for me a gift is always a sacrifice uh, it has to be a sacrifice it cannot be something it's something that has to come from my uh, it's a part of my soul that i'm giving uh, so i have gifted the power of now to my wife mm, okay. oh great on our uh, yeah. on our marriage i sa kya yeah? okay yes. wow great the near your wife ma- must be very mature and very patient enough good oh she's uh, uh, she is she she is uh, she she is uh, uh, she is brilliant i'm very grateful to her that uh, that uh, that she is there by me by my side uh, through everything great that that is how how it should be you know like a part it has to be a partnership of a proper partnership <laughs> is then only so i'm really glad that you know she kinds of shared that uh, bond with you regarding the power of now i really you know like yeah. so in that case you can practice zen and all these meditation stuff with uh, you know see normal yeah. folks when we talk about you know meditation zen and everything i was i'll i'll give you an example i was uh, traveling uh uh and this is not like putting anyone in stand okay okay not putting anyone in in a kind mm-hmm. of a year. so uh, i was traveling in duronto after a long time mm-hmm. you know duronto right train mm-hmm. uh, because i was carrying yeah. a lot of luggage okay and uh, the uh, you know how you know how the airlines are they will like kind of mm-hmm. cut your head when you have the kind of mm-hmm. excess luggage i was at at a point of carrying so what happened is that you know this guy so i i took the upper uh, berth as in uh, the left side upper Uh, mm. and uh, that person was like lower uh, side so so like in the mm. night we had slept and everything in the morning banda subah char sarab char like five se oi us time se baith ke thoda enjoy kar raha hai bahar ka scenery we were kind of going through this mm. andhra part where you know mm. these hills and everything is there so he is kind mm. of you know enjoying that and everything and he, he i really liked it we, we actually got out of, of the train and uh, had some dirty in the morning Uh, when it kind of mm. you know and mm. did not talk much or anything just you know very very simple thing and everything and then like after most probably four or five hours of that when he was most probably you know very silently enjoying in the morning mm. the sceneries and everything mm. suddenly you know out of the blues his partner came and asked me kya ye dekh rahe ho sokal the ke this is bengali i'll kind of translate <laughs> for the folks ये गाच पाला फल पहाड़ दिखे की होवे घुमो काल के सकाल उठे एकने जेते होवे एंड देन एंड आई सो हिज फेस दिस मैन वाज इन जेड मोड ओके सो गाच पाला फल इज फॉर द पर्सन हु डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड बंगाली इट्स लाइक ऑब्वियसली द ट्रीज द सिनेरीज एंड एवरीथिंग एंड ही वाज एंजॉयिंग इट आई एम ही वाज हिज फेस वाज लाइक आई रियलाइज द पेन ओ माय गॉडनेस सो दैट इट जस्ट ब्रॉट मी व्हेन यू काइंड ऑफ सेड यू नो यू काइंड ऑफ गिफ्टेड द पावर ऑफ I would have imagined what would have happened if this guy in the Zen mode would have kind of planned to give it, uh, you know. So that is the thing; it's, it's so materialistic, you know. The, like people have become like everything has yeah. to have a value towards it. Uh, even when I, as I speak of it, 
I am also very consciously, very materialistic, most probably. I, I always kind of see what is my ROI to this, you know, return on investment. <coughs> I yeah. try to kind of avoid it. But yeah, uh, again, coming back uh, to the pointers. So again, this conversation, we are already in one hour in this conversation. And we've been talking. I, I, I But I love the conversation. You know, that, that's the whole point. <laughs> like there would be some podcasts where reaching 45 minutes for me would be, again, I'm not, I, there's very, very less people that has happened with. I would have to kind of look into my questionnaire two, three times. That's the reason I got the backup <laughs> question. Okay, what will I ask? And there would be some uh, like this. Like, you know, like one hour just went off. It's just, that's the reason, you know, like, as I said, you know, at the end of the day, just having a good discussion, man. And we, we kind of saw, saw a bit of art. But just, you know, yeah. since I am obviously uh, hosting this, I want to have uh, some direction where we want to go towards it. Let's kind of come back to yeah, a bit sure. of cinematography. Okay. I want yeah. to kind of uh, yeah. to adventure mein hum log ye te, abhi aate, base camp pe, let's kind of come back. So yeah, you kind of we, we just started with the haikus. I had I asked you like what had happened. Uh and you know, from where to your uh, you said haikus and there you, you said uh, regarding your painting and everything. So you mentioned and how you cracked FTII. Uh so let's talk about FTII, okay? Because uh, I think uh, the environment please environment is king i think mm. like you know you uh, you put so th this was like a creative person so if, if mm -hmm. this is a creative person who has potential you you put that person in different environments okay mm -hmm. and if if one environment has the right uh, i think that that's the reason why people send uh, you know their kids to universities there are art schools, there are film schools, there are music production schools, like, you know, there's music environment is king, uh, when I see mm. it, like, like, the school that you, I'm not being snobbish here, okay, let's, mm -hmm. let me be very, okay, I'm not trying to come across like a snob, and if I come across like a snob, it, it really doesn't matter to me, you know, I'm in, as I said, I'm wrong side of 36 right now, you might say, think whatever, who wants, it doesn't really matter. I, I only care what my boss and my colleagues think and my close friends think. That's it yeah. right now as of now. So what I was saying is that okay, yeah. uh, the environment plays a huge role in everything. Yeah. Like you put a put a artist in a right and that's why internships are very important. Like, you know, working uh -huh. uh, like for me, like it was like when I was kind of working under Ram, understanding uh -huh. a lot of things. That was very, uh -huh. that, that uh, kind of kind of learning I will not get from anywhere. Similarly, mm. like when you kind of crack a film school like FTII, you get into it. Uh, mm. Basically, you are kind of surrounding yourself with uh, people who are mm. creative, who are basically all these folks are all together and it's just like a buzzing uh, flow of creativity. And mm. so was that the experience? Am I kind of uh, getting it right, or was it completely different? What? How? How was the? Uh, let me kind of uh, understand. From okay, uh, Rahi, to 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 start to talk about FTI, it's going to. Uh, I think it's going to take another hour. But uh, since since you have said that, um, <laughs> so I went to FTI. Uh, I was very very lucky. I was very lucky, and I'm extremely grateful that I got to in the first go. Uh, I uh, was 21 when I just finished college the same year I got through an FTI. Okay, okay. In the See. first time. Now that is, Did you prepare? I believe. Did you prepare? Did you prepare? How did uh, you prepare? If you have prepared, how did you prepare? Uh, so, so here is what I did. Uh, I asked around, uh, ki, how do you prepare for FTI? So they said, wow. just read one book, Malayalam Manorama. So I just mugged it up, <laughs> but it doesn't help much. Uh, and and uh, I have been watching a lot of world cinema since I was 14. Uh, and then I have 
I've been uh, since my college last three years. I have been reading about world cinema, and I even had a paper uh, on film analysis and film criticism. So, so studying cinema was a part of my life by then, um, mm. and I just. Uh, so i studied a lot of world cinema a lot of, lot of the books that uh, people suggest now to read uh, luckily happened when i was studying mass communication um, and uh, you did your uh, graduation in which which subject if i may ask graduation uh, i did my graduation in media science i was the first ba uh, batch of media science uh, under w beauty okay yeah Kaan se and for, for what like where did you do it from uh, i did it from this place called eiilm it uh, does Achha, not do the course yes, yes. Oh, okay. yes, yes yes it doesn't do the course anymore uh, okay. but i was the first and the last batch and the uh, and the only student uh, the first student to get from ft uh, from wbt to into fti so uh, right. so, so those kind of things but uh, but since there was no precedents uh, i did not know uh it was uh, it was a completely a walk of, a leap of faith and mm -hmm. i'm very grateful that it happened uh fti okay. happened to me um i i would not say that uh, a lot of people i know prepare a lot uh, mm -hmm. uh for fti and they don't get through they lose hope see the point of fti you know is very simple you have to love cinema uh, uh, uh cinema as a medium uh you know uh if you love cinema as a medium you will definitely get through uh, rather than uh, uh, some people like the glamour of cinema some people like watching hindi films only some people like only watching uh, a certain thing about cinema some people uh, use uh, cinema as a escape medium but when you love cinema as a medium like the way we love like you love music you know mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Uh, then there are different mediums uh, in art uh, you know you have to love that medium and and be curious about it uh, then it will definitely happen i i believe because it has happened with me okay so that's yeah. how i got through fti uh, i was 21 uh, it was a first two years was very overwhelming actually um uh it was uh, it was overwhelming it was also quite a bit of adapt adapting uh, from kolkata where uh, i am where i was born and i was raised till that age uh, and then coming to fti was a big jump uh, for a 21 year old who has not seen society or world or outside calcutta koi exposure nahi tha so 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 exposure of people um uh, is something that i had to learn uh, and then slowly 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 i kept on learning and uh, yeah but uh, what people talk about that it is a space yes it is a space uh, i don't know another space like ftii in india i have been to whistling woods i have uh, Uh, been to SRFTI Satyajit Ray Film Institute, and recently I went back and took a workshop in FTI for uh, for a batch. Uh, yeah. And um, there's an energy about that place, uh, and people who try to resist that energy they go through a lot of crises. Um, and uh, so so did I, like everybody, try to resist that energy, uh, and then eventually succumb to it and surrender to it, and that is when a lot of things started happening. it is basically very infectious you know like obviously uh, when i kind of met you there and you know i was doing uh, the small course that i was doing on sound it was i i, I could feel it uh, but i knew you know like uh, i knew that this is what i'm interested in but uh, again you know paths are a bit different and uh, i will ask a trick question here yeah okay. because i gave you this question i kind of put this environment question thing now i'll get into a mood where i want to ask this kind of trick question here yeah can cinema be taught uh, like is is a film school important uh, to create uh, to apart from the art apart from the craft of it if i may ask okay is is a film school important uh, apart from the value it provides uh, regarding uh, you know craft uh, 
to learn Ooh. cinema can cinema be uh, can 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 a person because there are a lot of filmmakers there are a lot of folks who have learned it on the job who have kind of uh, uh, learned it watching there's uh, you know obviously some big big directors who have kind of said that you know watching cinema is everything they have learned you know Ooh. so from a person whom i know if has watched a lot of movies uh, you know kind of uh, world cinema because before even kind of you know getting into that because i i had interacted with you i even kind of at that point of time so i was crazy you know like i i i, I did not have very <laughs> specific cities in my mind that you know what i'll kind of end up doing but oh. uh, I, i was very interested in stuff so i kind of you know got some movies from you also so i know oh. that you know you have watched a lot of movies uh, so obviously the pedigree is very important of uh, where you have studied but again coming to the main question the trick question that i was asking you is uh, do you think cinema can be taught in a film school well cinema apart, is a apart medium from, yaar apart from the again i i know you are you going to answer i'm just going to question you on this that apart from the craft part of it yeah yeah craft yeah, part yes. i get it okay craft so, craft so, part, i get it technicalities apart from the technicalities of it uh so apart from the technicalities so cinema as a medium uh, uh, <coughs> uh what fti gives you is a platform fti gives you a platform fti gives us all of us a platform a film school in uh, india any film school in india gives us a platform to to learn the medium learn how to appreciate the medium and learn how to be aware of the medium and some places you learn a little bit of techniques and craft of it now if you ask me is it the only way to learn cinema i would say no uh, cinema can be learned uh, whoever wants to learn anything can learn it on their own also uh, on the job also but uh, but saying all of that um, Mm, uh see in our country we have this dependency on the education system mm-hmm. and it it gives a lot of people a certain because cinema as a industry is very unorganized industry uh, cinema mm-hmm. art industry is a little uh, unorganized industry so oh, to go, now how do you go about it you know the education system at least sh- show you know gives you a platform to to learn about how to go about it mm-hmm. so yeah i think it is a beautiful thing that a place like fti exists uh, and i wish that the uh, that uh, gov- governments who, who, whoever comes in power uh, take, uh, uh, takes care of that place uh, it is a very special uh, place to learn art uh, and cinema in india and i'm very grateful that i was there okay and i'm also very grateful that you know i know a friend who was there though i was there just for a bit <laughs> but you were kind of living it i i will kind of give you an example i don't know these are most probably very extreme kind of comparison maybe uh huh but what i feel i again i was talking about the environment because again i i won't say something which when if i don't have anything in the back of my mind which i want to kind of you know talk about after yeah. that uh the yeah. reason why i said environment is king is you know just taking an example of uh, where i work right now infosys right yeah so have you been to the infosys campus ever in, in bangalore? bangalore no 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 so have no, you no, seen no. pictures of the yes 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 yes, yes. so yes. i'll tell you one thing you know like this is my third company but uh, like the place is such a wonderful place okay like mm. uh you you feel inspired to work oh. okay and you are oh. surrounded by you know all throughout your center surrounded by infosys similarly i feel that you know kind of i'm obviously different field absolutely different work but again the point is that it it's really not not the field that is mattering oh. it's the uh, oh. the pedigree that you're getting similarly like uh, as in the uh, you know colleges everything you know that really oh. kind of that environment kind of builds up and i would 
you know talking about fti uh, again i i really love the fact that you know uh you know the film screenings and all those things and you know like the inside uh, uh you you guys have have that uh, um you know like uh, the shooting places it's it's crazy it's like it, it's beautiful to be very honest i was in love with with the place oh. and but i knew you know bhai yahan pe to genius bande log hi rahenge mera jo hai chhota sa prasad diya wo leke chala jao abhi because i had some oh. other plans uh, but i really loved it man it's like and uh, this is you know a creative hub is very important yeah creation comes creation is something it's uh it will it's like a you know it's like a plant it's it's like a tree sure. right uh and obviously you know the seed is there but if you do not give it proper sunlight if you do not water it if you do not sure. take care of it it's not going to grow you sure. put it in dark you put it in a place where you know it's not getting the right uh, sure. amount of the you know, necessary things that one needs to grow it will not so i feel hmm. that you know a similar uh, kind of a comparison where um these institutions i think even for learning whatever things you not only this is very important and i i really love you know i talked with a lot of folks from very different industries i started oh. with music uh as in you know when when, when i had started this pod- podcast it's oh. been like almost uh, i think Two years around Berlin. I don't know. Oh. Remember, probably a twenty twenty one year, twenty twenty two. I ah uh, twenty twenty two. I started this. Oh. So at that point of time, uh, idea was just for kind of doing it for musicians, and then I realized that you know, ah, uh, I can discuss a lot of things with other folks, which I'm very interested in. And oh. what I've noticed is that you know, like, mm, creativity is something you know oh. as. You, i'll i'll take you as an example here like again coming back to when we kind of started this discussion like you said uh, like we got an example right you are doing cinematography you are painting you are like you, you have got very very like your creative is a creative so i i think mm-hmm. like non classifying people as uh, you know uh, like i'll tell you one thing you know when i had shifted here I'm not carrying a single wow. mu- music instrument. All my music instruments are in my, you know, Calcutta wow. studio. And that's a restriction. Wow. The only music instrument is my iPad because I can, you know, play and program from it when I'm connected to cool. Logic Pro. So it kind of works it cool. as a background. Apart from my iPad, I'm not, I'm not carrying very, very consciously, because what will happen cool. is that I feel, you, you might correct cool. me if I'm wrong, but, but I feel that you know. while i'm repressing that that musician side of mine and where my day job is uh, you know maybe you know managing people uh there's this creative space oh and i want all that creative energy to be in this podcast so oh i have not kept any other option from myself oh creative agar hona hai what it karna hai Okay, <laughs> yeah. so I have like four sets. So like it's it's like a um, very very cunning way of kind of putting myself into your place. Okay, take it. You know, let's kind of uh, do this. Talking about creativity, uh, let's uh, oh. you know, uh, uh, let's talk about uh, your kind of first project that you did. I I am aware of it. I want to kind of discuss about this. Uh, it was a uh, Prabhat Nagari, uh, your first uh, project. Let's kind of talk about this. Uh, give us an overview what happened what was this all about so prabhat nagari was not my first project it was actually uh, in fti it was my second year uh, final project five years sorry and uh, it was the final. last hmm. yeah oh. and it is the last time i shot celluloid uh, so there is a lot of uh, nostalgic memories uh, hmm. to that process hmm so prabhat nagari as you if you it's there online you can watch it on youtube uh, it's a it's a 10 minute long film it's about a day in the it's a day in the life of a studio hmm hmm you know it's from the morning when the studio opens what happens it's like studio a studio's autobiography uh, a day in the life of a studio it's, it's like that it's called prabhat nagari and it is called prabhat nagari because um, 
that studio we are talking about is prabhat studio floor number 1 uh, which is a heritage site in on campus uh, hmm. and it's the place where uh, v shantaram uh, has uh, you know has worked there uh, gurudath has worked there uh, the legends of the film industry has worked there uh, mm-hmm. so it's a so yeah so so it was a it it was a kind of a docu fiction uh, mm-hmm. th- uh, that we were uh, we were taking instances from real life and uh, but um, but recreating them uh, for the camera uh lighting them up and everything that you see on that film was staged uh and uh, uh there were certain restrictions when the camera was not uh, because it was a student exercise the camera was not supposed to get out of the studio floor and we got a lot of amazing shots which people still ask me how did I, how did we do that uh without bringing taking the camera f- out of the studio floor so so mm. we have done those kind of things and uh, it was a sync sound exercise i shot on 35 mm celluloid um it was a beautiful experience it was a beautiful coming of age experience okay okay so you know i uh, uh, I'll, i'll ask you a, a, a tangent question from this yeah. this case yeah. then you mentioned celluloid and i yeah. know that you know like for cinematographers uh, the just like you know like sound engineers or like uh, music producers the equipment is very important i mm-hmm. understand that but mm-hmm. uh, i'm sure you're aware that you know uh, like uh, there have been quite a few uh, important uh, films i want to mention them as films but let's kind of put it movies let's kind of put it in that way yeah. that have been shot on iphones yeah yeah what is your take on the tech so the technology of it so you have learned an art form yeah and uh, you know as you you've learned the craft you've kind of most probably mastered uh, the specificities of the cameras and all you know all these things that you've kind of done but hmm. uh, my question is that uh, you know what is filmic pro right yeah you're aware right so mm-hmm. it's giving you the same thing you know like as in some manual uh, you know mm-hmm. uh, like you have you have an iphone you put in a filmic pro and mm-hmm. you're able to at least obviously you're not having everything but basics of the thing that you'll be able to use. how do you look into technology as not when see i'm not talking about high end equipment here i'm talking mm-hmm. about if you are a professional obviously you'll be using high end equipment i'm more mm-hmm. of talking about uh, you know the uh, guerrilla level of thinking because here i'll give you an example on this podcast itself we are doing mm-hmm. this on a virtual studio i do mm-hmm. not even have a dslr here i'm doing it tomorrow on my logitech uh what is this? this is a prio logitech prio mm. okay mm. this is obviously a 4k uh, webcam but mm. it's 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 just does this work for me i could have just you mm. know have my canon m50 uh you know then uh, kind of put in there but then again i have to carry this whole thing and everything it's for me it's right now the mobility is very important okay mm. and uh, i have my iphone from which you know that's the reason i'm not carrying my uh, kind of camera here uh i mm. plan to kind of you know i have filmic pro on it i know how to use film mm. pro and you know i am mm. very i'm uh, uh, like i'm more of an editing person to be very honest mm. when it comes to because i i edit a lot of things for the show and mm. everything so over the mm. years uh, you know like i i have kind of picked up some of those uh, you know tools and everything not mm. much obviously compared to see you guys are professionals not even getting into it i'm like this is my hobby okay very simple mm. i have like expensive hobby but hobby to hai and like it's my mm. passion it's my passion mm. but hobby okay but mm. uh, because, uh, that's the reason i'm asking you this question okay. what is your take on uh, like shooting with an iphone that's it like would you be comfortable doing it uh, like obviously cinematography is obviously there but how how important to you is a device how important to you is the equipment that you're shooting on uh, so i will give this answer to you in two parts okay first part is my cinematography changed after i purchased mm-hmm. my first iphone ah okay good because okay. of the 12 mm lens 
that mm -hmm. it gave you know okay and suddenly my per understanding of perspective which version, under sorry sorry uh, to interrupt in, which version of iphone you you purchased 11 11 11 pro max ah. <coughs> so so the thing is my learning uh, of perspective uh, my understanding of uh, uh, wide angle lensing and uh, distortions and how to use them as a tool that it it got massively changed because as a photographer also nobody is going to buy a 12 mm camera for their kit people generally won't avoid that would avoid that mm -hmm. so sh like shooting with a 12 mm and a 24 mm uh, Uh, on the iphone it 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 has changed the way the world sees image making mm -hmm. now and it has helped me a lot there is a before and after in my work before and after the iphone uh, that's a fact so so yeah uh, technology does affect the way we work uh, our equipment does affect the way we work and the output that we give now coming to the second part of it is uh, how about shooting on an iphone have i ever shot on an iphone i said yes i have shot on an iphone but it is very expensive a process because if you are doing any project on an iphone people get very excited that i iphone pe shoot kar le but it is not that simple because you need at least a 512 mb uh, gb uh, uh, iphone dedicated for the shoot uh, and because if you don't give that amount of ram space the video starts buffering it's not that we are do I mean, if you are doing professional quality video output if you are doing a 4k raw hmm hmm so if you, if I, you are I, doing I'll a just, 4k I'll just, raw i'll just pause it i'll ask a question just in, when you are answering this yeah. I, i maybe since you are talking of uh, like storage issue why not oh. uh, you know have a uh, ipad uh, uh, you know which is a 256 or why not even even better why not carry a macbook air like i am te telling you my process when i work with an iphone like if the uh, you know uh, storage is getting very heavy i just air drop air drop it i i have extra storage in my uh, say laptop why not use that why no. not even ha huh, so 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 when we uh, shoot with an iphone we basically of course put a filmic pro on it uh then we put uh, uh there is a certain um, rig to it through which you can put cine lenses on it you know mm -hmm. so that whole tamjham has to be shifted to other equipments constantly that is not going to be an easy time saving option because the most expensive thing on a uh, thing uh, on a film set since cinema has it been invented is time okay Right. so whatever we do whatever workflow we follow we try to save time because that is uh, that is on what business stands on is mm -hmm. uh, is how do we do the best output in a short period of time or whatever mm -hmm. time it takes it cannot we can't do mughal azams anymore you know or we can't mm -hmm. do apo apocalypse now anymore uh, at least from where uh, the the level that i am at uh, mm -hmm. so i have to give quick turnarounds have to give quick outputs and for all of that iphone is not uh, iphone uh, is very professional when it comes to clicking photographs uh, and taking videos but they are only for reels when it when it, when you want to do a proper filmic pro output with a with a cine lens or any other lens on it then then it is a task it's not going to be that easy like you know yeah. because that because of because it is designed as a phone it is not designed as a professional camera it's a it's like we are ex extracting everything out of it but it is uh, still uh, 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 not uh, as good as your uh, canon of, of, of um, uh, you know d50 or uh, a7s3 or a sony fx3 or a uh, ari alexa or a red uh, raptor yes. or a sony venice you know it's not going to be Huh? Right, right. I I knew this was coming. My my point yeah. was here. So see, and उसके ऊपर भी एक झमेला तो है कि obviously if your client is there, yeah. you have a corporate client, you have a client yeah. that has dealt with. They won't not most probably understand the moment. Most probably you mentioned that I am going to shoot this project on iPhone. They might ask their ये के ओके you know uh, has this, is this guy shooting professionally? <laughs> <laughs> so my my question was just for myself okay just for yeah. my understanding 
okay yeah. because see this is this is what i do i try to see, i'm learning from you okay yeah. in this process so you know you mentioned about time see there's a saying time is a bigger currency than money yes you're giving me time i'm giving you my time i think both of us can learn something and at least if the roi to this at least 1 hour 30 minutes or how long this is going to be i think the feel good thing is there okay okay fair enough you know i've talked with bhuvan after such a long time i'm already feeling good you know obviously because i'm in a different city uh you know uh, and again i'm starting over the only thing you know only folks i know here apart from obviously the folks who i've worked with is my infi people okay and thankfully i've been working here for a long time so i i know people but uh, that is again work right and uh, so that is one of the reasons you know i kind of put this thing coming back to that question yes uh, okay yeah. it's it's good to kind of hear that you know you've evolved and i i do not expect that uh, you know since obviously uh, this is your bread and butter just like my work <laughs> is my bread and butter i am not going to ask uh, you know kind of start doing my projects on my <laughs> ipad where my company, <laughs> my kind of client is providing me a proper uh you know cloud solution where you know i specifically i work on cloud okay yeah. i'm very much dependent you know i'm like trying to upgrading my everything into technology like i wanted like you know like uh, i use a lot of productivity apps and all that so yeah. i don't know like uh, in the next so i think in terms of 3 to 5 year plans because if, if if i don't do it it's like very short for me uh uh-huh. and specifically this year is very important for me because as i said you know uh, getting on to the wrong side of 30 uh, 36 <laughs> ho jayega uh, at the end of this month and i am going to i know how kind of uh, you know this kind of going to change so i'm going to see in the next 5 years or next 3 years what uh, trajectory uh, yeah. most probably you know uh, okay let me ask you this uh, even if even like telling you before what my plan is on this uh, so you travel a lot right for shooting yeah yeah you need you travel a lot so yeah. abhi uh, and the reason you are based out of bombay is the work is yeah. around bombay right that is yeah the yeah reason behind bombay okay yeah. fair enough any other city apart from bombay right now if you had been given a choice what city that would be don't tell me kolkata please to work that out, out that, uh, to to uh, work, to out. work out yes <coughs> say bombay is not an option bombay mein you are band no one is wanting to to work whatever like say bombay does not exist oh yeah okay In so, a so 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 uh, cities or uh, panjim is one of them i love panjim uh, pune is one of them i love pune uh, hyderabad uh, uh, hyderabad is also one of them i love hyderabad uh, you know so so hyderabad has a film industry chennai i like chennai chennai has a film industry uh, panjim is in goa it uh, a lot of bombay people have shifted to goa during the pandemic and uh, i actually have more friends there than in bombay right now exactly okay <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, pune of course pune is a uh is the first love maharashtra uh, is not counting okay get out of maharashtra i'm not asking you about maharashtra hyderabad was a good answer chennai was a good hyderabad, answer hyderabad yeah yeah hyderabad would be nice Ch- chennai 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 would be nice chennai is really really nice chennai is really nice uh yeah, panjim is nice uh yeah man oh, these three cities uh maybe bangalore but but the thing with bangalore the traffic is way too much yeah. i i stayed in bangalore for a, for a very little time in jayanagar and uh, See, it was plan a your thing very simply i'll i'll give you an yeah. example yeah. where i do not even board on yeah. the traffic i the traffic i board yeah. on i already own to huh. my two legs 10 minutes huh. from my house infosys <laughs> that's called planning right. you know there's a problem with yeah. the city you have your mind you yeah. know why you are coming there you plan it accordingly before i even moved here my thing was mujhko i do not want to get on an auto i do not want to get on an yeah. uber i do not want to drive a motor bike i do not want to do that how do i do it <laughs> remove all equations my where do i want to work where am i actually working now why am i kind of moving there because thankfully i was already employed with this company uh, when yeah. they had obviously kind of uh, when i was planning uh, yeah. so my idea was bhai 
ऑफिस है सामने तो कुछ होगा ही वेरी सिंपल लाइक सो आई आई फाउंड आउट आई डो नॉट एवरी वन इज स्क्रीबिंग अबाउट बैंगलोर ट्रैफिक use your head where you are working <laughs> get a place near you who told you to sit in whitefield or btm if you are working in electronics city and coming now nah, sir both i understand if you are uh, like native in bangalore understandable then yeah. i will take it you are you are coming from calcutta or you are coming from say bombay and you yeah. com- complain about tra- are you coming a delhi i delhi i oh, sorry i am not like getting into kind of racism here my point <laughs> is that you kind of complain about the traffic the traffic is there obviously because yeah. a lot of people has come here and uh, yeah here is obviously more of a tech thing i do not know how the cinema thing is here i i do not know anyone who is related to cinema here actually i do not know anyone yeah. maybe it's, it's my network is not that much connected in that case all the folks i know and to be very honest i have met more so bengali so bangalore ha uh, uh, So Bangalore, uh, one of my favorite bookstores in India is in Bangalore. Okay, okay. It's called the Blossom Bookstore. Okay, okay. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. It is. It's a three-storied. Uh, the Blossom soul. Bookstore. Okay. Yes, me... Blossom Bookstore. It's my favorite bookstore in uh, Bangalore, and uh, and the Bangalore has some fantastic food places there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just love eating out in Bangalore in the hundred. Street Road, you know. Uh, you were and, staying in which uh, which side in Bangalore? You said Jayanagar. 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 Acha. Yes. Uh, also, uh, like, uh, huh? Came here for work. Came here for yes, work. Yes, or? yes, 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 yes. I came to Bangalore for work in 2015 when I was shooting a uh, ad campaign. Acha. Okay. Yeah. and uh, i just fell in love with blossom uh, there is a beautiful called brahmins coffee bar uh, oh. that's there uh, for breakfast only you get fantastic uh, filter coffee idli dosa all of that uh, so, it's called yeah so so filter coffee idli dosa here there is a good place uh, that you know uh, i uh, Uh, live nearby. It is ye uh, pilla I am. Anyways, you go continue, continue. I will take the notes. Yeah. So so, notes. so 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 Brahmin's Coffee Bar is one of the oldest places uh, to to serve that. Then uh, then there is a flower market. I think near the bus bus stand. Uh, now that is a beautiful place. You know, uh, it's it's crazy uh, to go there early in the morning. and bangalore becomes very cold uh, in the uh, monsoons uh, and uh, just if you are free in one of the monsoon mornings just go uh, take a stroll in the uh, flower market near the bus bus stop uh, mm-hmm. then uh, so many memories are yeah, good good memories of bangalore actually good food memories okay okay if you if you ever find time drop by you know surely. yes yes definitely if i drop by uh, you you will get to know about it yeah 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 surely let me know and i do not see me coming in bombay any time soon but obviously i'll i'll let you know if i'm kind of doing <laughs> that sure which reminds me one thing we were talking about you said that you know you kind of uh, came in bangalore for ad ca- campaign so yeah. let me ask like uh, you know i know that you have done this uh, tata viral and campaign so let me kind of uh, could you please talk a bit about how that happened uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so so that is written by my friend krishna arjun uh, uh, so he is a writer he is a published author uh, and he is uh, uh, pass out from fti and nid and uh, we did uh, and uh, this was a bra- uh, this the, this was a ad for uh, tata viron uh, the company uh, and if you look at that ad uh, it is um, it's there on youtube if you want me to share it with you you want to take a look at it
हर अच्छी चीज मिट्टी से ही आती है बाबा कहते थे हर सच्चाई हर अच्छाई ये मिट्टी हमारी ही है और हम भी तो है बस इसी मिट्टी से ही जैसे मैं और मेरे बाबा जैसे ये मिट्टी और ये बीज हर बीज में एक वादा है एक इरादा है आने वाले कल का उस इरादे को एक खूबसूरत हकीकत तक ले जाना है उसको वो मजबूत सहारा देना है बढ़ने के लिए और आगे बढ़ने के लिए थोड़ी धूप जरा सी छाव मुस्कुराती राहत और आगे पनपने की चाहत एक ऐसा सुरक्षित जहां जो अनमोल हो और अचानक एक दिन वो बड़े हो जाते हैं हम अपनी फसल से वैसे ही जुड़े हैं जैसे अपने बच्चों से भरोसा क्या है आखिर बस इतना जानना कोई है अपना जिसका हमेशा साथ है टाटा वायरॉन आपकी छोटी ख्वाहिशों से देश के ऊंचे अरमानों तक हम बना रहे हैं कल that's pretty awesome tell me more about this uh, how this happened uh, tell me about the product itself uh, what what is the product about and okay the product tata wire on is basically uh, tata wire on is basically galvanized iron wire um, uh-huh. that tata has a brand name to it okay and uh, they generally were targeting the farmers uh, of uh-huh. india when they launched it so that okay. they use this uh, uh, this uh, you know uh, this uh, this wire uh, as their fence as their netting uh-huh. whatever you know okay. uh, that was the brief and this director friend of mine krishna arjun he is a brilliant director uh, mm-hmm. uh, writer director editor so I he had wrote a this conversation co- with him i i know he is very yeah yeah good Huh? so 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 he uh, wrote this concept uh, where um, where the farmer is the father is the father and son relationship and the mm-hmm. son or the child is the seed uh, so when a father is raising the child uh, you know uh, it needs to be protected from wild animals from 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 wind from heat from everything and uh, so the so the protection that the father uses for the child here is tata wire on is made of tata wire on uh, you know it's uh, and uh, that is how uh, uh, you know it is a beautiful uh, um, you know story it's a beautiful emotional story about a father and his child okay very very interesting one on this one yeah very interesting since yeah. we are talking about your works you know uh, let's talk about yeah. uh, odd couple let's let's talk about it uh, odd couple ah odd couple odd couple is a saga odd, basically mm-hmm. odd couple is a it's story is a story it's on prime it's a, yeah it's it's streaming on amazon prime ah uh, this is a long long story actually uh so back in the day um, in 2014 2015 uh, so odd couple we shot in 2017 uh, we shot in 2017 it was a indie film completely indie film 
I have done a few of those. Uh, it was a completely indie film, and uh, the film some uh, after the shooting got over, principal photography got over. Uh, by the uh-huh. way, it has got a nice star cast, though. It has got Divyendu Sharma, uh, who is also my senior from FTI. It has got uh, uh, Vijay Raz. Uh, it has got uh, Suchitra Krishnamurthy. Uh, it has Pranati um, um, Rai Prakash. It has got uh, uh, Sahesh Shukla, who is again my senior from FTI, and it has got Manoj Pawa. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know the lead. lead actors and mm. and it's a quite a ensemble cast uh, and it is a um, uh, it's a it's a comedy film uh, uh, it's a lot like bibahu bibrat in in uh, that we have in bengali uh, mm. similar to that a uh, similar on those lines where uh, two couples get married with the same name to to the opposite people <laughs> and uh, what and what happens then uh, it's a it's uh, it was quite it was my first film and uh, uh, it's very close to my heart uh, the director prashant uh, he is brilliant uh, he's a writer a director mm-hmm. and um, uh, it uh, the film got stuck for 5 years and mm-hmm. uh, yeah uh, the film got stuck for 5 years but then uh, the director himself alone because the, there was some issue with the with the with the producers among the producers one of the producers you know mm-hmm. was not there the director had to do a lone struggle with the film to get it released mm-hmm. you know and uh, it was uh, it was coming of age for all of us in a certain way uh, you know uh, 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 you know shooting the film in a very restricted period of time it's a small budget film then uh, you know it has got its own uh, ups and downs every film you know i must tell you rahi whenever we do a film or fiction in general film or a series uh, it we give a part of our life to it we do give right, a part of right. our life to it and uh, it is however people say that uh, you know we have to be detached and all of that uh, mm-hmm. that is so when we are giving a part of our life to a project you know uh, otherwise the project will mane you just can't matlab <coughs> i don't know any other way of doing it uh, so that is where my detachment skills my uh, my pay, uh, my mindfulness practice uh, comes into the picture because it sometimes becomes very very overwhelming Hmm. sometimes this giving the process of giving a part of your soul to a project becomes very over, overwhelming emotionally physically uh, spiritually as well uh, and it it is like a burden we carry it till the time the project is released uh, hmm. and um, so with the with the help of my mindfulness and meditation practice i'm able to detach myself um, uh, from when i feel the emotions but i try i detach it detach from it uh and it is for the best that's what i have learned o- over the years you know but it is a beautiful film must watch every every everybody should uh, check it out uh it's a fun comedy film uh hmm. please do take a look yeah great absolutely uh, and uh, i would ask everyone to kind of go ahead and check it out it's uh, very special to buban and uh, i'll surely uh, check it out you know uh, let me see today only to yeah, yeah. only i might do it uh, <laughs> you know i was wondering what to kind of watch so let me kind of do it and uh, i'm sure you know it's going to be very interesting coming to what you said about detachment on these things uh, yeah. see uh, idea is that you know everything uh, i like there's a saying in the bhagavad gita yeah uh, i i'll tell you this uh, right word which this this is used multiple times is called uh, equan equanimity ik, if it's if i pronounce it right yeah that is yeah. you know becoming yeah. uh, like the gita says that you know being the same having the same reaction in sorrow and in happiness yes that is that is the you know i'll show you the only book i you know in in calcutta i used to have a huge library and everything give yeah. me a moment i'll show you this book yeah. that i'm carrying hold on one second yeah 
Uh, what is the mark? One point five six. Yeah, okay. I have to cut. Give me a minute. Ha, huh, one point five six cut over because this water. So if you are able to see this, see, able to see this. Uh, I don't know if you are able to see this properly. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, I can. Yeah. Ha, huh. so this is uh, you know this is the only book I've carried with me, the Bhagavad Gita. It's not basically. Yeah. If I, I was a bit, I was actually obviously at point of time is very religious and all that. Uh, right now, I, I do not kind of yeah. look myself as a religious person, more into Zen. Uh, and I I love yeah. uh, Krishna as a person, uh, and uh, as in uh, that's the reason I'm Krishna Das obviously, but not from yeah. a religious perspective. It's just like you know, if you like if you lo love the rock, as in if you smell yeah. what the rock is cooking, kind of that. Why? Because you love the attitude, have what he kind of does, or if you like a kind of movie character, or maybe yeah. if you like your uncle, how he kind of behaves. Because yeah. he is, he's giving you know some you some wisdom. Similarly, yeah. I I kind of consider so there's multiple rasas where when it comes to yes. the relationship with Krishna. So for yes. me, it's like you know I kind of uh, take him as my friend uh, yes. and my guide. So that's the reason. So again, coming to that point, like it's very important to kind of you know have that uh, equanimity that you know being the same in sorrow and in happiness. Yes. So does that mean that हम लोग क्या enjoy नहीं करेंगे हम लोग क्या involved नहीं होंगे like we will not be involved in the stuff we will not have any happiness or you know uh, we'll be bulletproof when it comes to sort of no but the idea is that you know the right word is overwhelming yeah the moment you know when you when you said that you know I've put in so much into this project now again you know this is obviously coming outside I'm I'm See, there are two ways people can take my commentary on stuff that they uh, give to me. It's uh, one way is that oh, boy, ये तो बस सब कुछ में ही फिलोसॉफी मार रहा है. That is one thing. Secondly, is that it's just my two cents, man. Okay. So it's <laughs> it's I would put myself in your shoes and I would see what has happened for me in multiple projects, be it professional or uh, you know something which I'm passionate about. Is that uh, before that? Let me ask. Have you? Uh, Read this book, the War of Art, not Art of War, War of Art. No, no, no. I'm sorry, okay. I missed that. Okay, fair enough. Not Art of War. That's Sun Tzu. Well, we need Stephen Pressfield. Okay, ideal, yeah. amazing. And this is the re reason why I'm telling this is because you are. See, when you are working in a creative field, that's yeah. one of the reasons I could not. You know, I'll I'll tell you. This is my failure also. i could mm. never be uh, like i could not take a job as in in a creative field i realized that because i do not have that ability uh, to uh, you know that that is absolutely an ability to be a professional when it comes to uh, look into my art mm. i'm if if i'm making a bit of sense i'll tell you one thing yeah ye tha Okay. and it it's it's see i have huge respect for people and most of the people who come to my show are professionals in art mm. and I, i that's the one of the reasons i connect with people because this is something i have never been able to do the moment you know there mm. is and and this is i have tried i it's not that i have not tried yeah. but uh, i'm much more okay doing what i do right now for earning the money mm. and rather mm. in my free time do my uh, creative stuff like right now what i'm doing right So this is what I want oh. to do, uh, you know. Rather than you know, if, if some executive was sitting over me and uh, you know some manager is sitting over me saying, "Okay, you have to do this podcast, bhai, ye, tumara," I would, Jack uh, shit, I'm not going to do it. Right? Similar, it's just oh. going to not. So uh, that's the reason uh, oh. why I brought in the war of art and why am oh. I kind of uh, having this discussion of you know, on equanimity when you just mentioned that you know I was very invested in this i really love oh. when you said that you are invested in it and i'm sure we are going to uh, see that output there you know when oh. we are watching this but since we kind of started this uh, conversation where we were talking about you know the power, uh, you know the power of now and all these oh. things i want this to be a more deeper conversation aisa nahi hona chahiye oh. ke you know so why i say is that in the a uh, war of art it's a very simple it talks about oh. a professional oh. 
now you are oh. a professional in your field of media i am a professional oh. in my field of tech or whatever management jo jo bhi hai theek hai we both are professionals why are we oh. professionals we show up at work and this is i'm oh. paraphrasing what kind of steven oh. said we show up at work you know tomorrow you have a work you know you oh. have a schedule tomorrow you will show up at your shoot tomorrow oh. i know at 8:30 i have to uh, ensure that i'll log in okay oh. in fact you know if if i have to uh, if if i see some uh, calls or if i can if i see some messages which require my attention no matter if it's my shift is over or something if i have some work i will as a responsible manager i have to kind of you know get into it and kind of do it because we are professionals right a professional oh. will always oh. uh you know maybe you have a mild f- fever so initially think hmm. about, you've you've read uh, robert green's mastery mm mm-hmm. no you have you have you read anything about robert green no don't tell me no oh man then your life is going to change after today if you have if you do a google yes. search and if you if you just yes, yes, please do it please yes, okay, i'm going to do it one book that has one book okay if you want to i'll tell you one thing if you want to like uh be a master of your craft which i'm sure you all see you anyways you've been doing this for a long time i'm not getting into it that's called mastery robert green but the book oh. that has changed a lot of people's lives it's a bit of yeah. an evil book you can say a power play book it's uh, yeah. it's called 48 laws of power it's after nicolo machiavelli's uh, you know the prince it's one of the yeah. most important books in my life uh, you know oh. so i'll say that you know check robert green out Uh, oh yeah what i was saying regarding mastery also in robert green's mastery also it said that you know oh. it takes a bit of time oh. and you know kind of uh, to get into any craft so you're basically oh. you 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 know a craft right you're, you you oh. know your cinematography like i know uh, you know my emails my people management skills you you have these tools right oh. now we at least not uh, at this level where we are working say for a uh, more than 10 years we will oh. not let our emotions affect our work understand like personal oh. work ho sakta like this podcast this is oh. not you know no one is getting anything out, out this is just uh, as in you know this is pure indulgence of passion oh. I'll, I'll, i'll i put it pure indulgence kuch nahi hai jaise oh. you know you you go to a good restaurant you want to have some food very simple right this is oh. a pure indulgence of oh. a discussion which i feel which is oh. one of the you know kind of food for the brain Uh, but mm. if this was a kind of professionally managed podcast it would be okay you know mm. the deliverable should be there we are already sitting at 204 uh, you know yeah. as in 2 uh, hours 4 minutes if there were the, the most probably the producer would have said bhai it's we have so many questions left you have most probably asked even 10% <laughs> of it you know what the hell you're doing i would have most probably getting text you know how the studio environment kind of works right yeah, so yeah. Uh, similarly say i think that you know at this is where i also have a request and uh, i don't know what you will do uh, of this uh, is that um obviously when you're working professionally uh mm. it's best to kind of look it as a job and put in our best uh mm. things that the, the reason we have been hired for like you've you've oh. got a set of skills they know you are going to deliver a creatively uh, good packaged output oh. uh, with uh, the right kind of uh, you know cinematography there and the oh. sensibility and all these things because you've learned it you've invested your time in it you've done it so many things and uh, though you said you are very involved in it again you know i'm pushing it but you have not let your involvement in the project affect the project's output in any way badly oh. if it's good that's oh. great okay oh. so the idea is that okay, what i was i don't know if i'm making any sense here my point is that uh, detachment when we are professionals is very important so like if oh. i get too involved in my work oh. okay i might uh, you know be and if it means very much to me i'm talking oh. i'm not talking about passion okay this is where my oh. question is going to come to you oh. so my passion is something where i would let myself get involved okay so oh. you know maybe a personal project of shreet oh. 
जहां पे इट्स नॉट अ डिलीवरेबल सो दिस इज अ डिलीवरेबल यू हैड राइट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम सेइंग सो इफ माय आस्क फॉर यू और माय काइंड ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट फॉर यू वुड बी दैट व्हेनेवर यू गेट टाइम आई नो यू नो यू डू दिस फुल टाइम आई वुड वांट मोर टू सी एंड आई थिंक देयर इज स्टिल मोर where apart from you know the gigs that you do uh, mm. for as a professional mm. i want uh, to kind of you know have some outputs like uh, from your end obviously when you get time and no one yeah. is kind of saying it like where mm. you do something completely you know like this is you own this as in you know this is not for mm. any client jaise you said na the director it was a loan warrior for him to kind of i know most probably your ambitions are different most probably i had asked you this long time back also you had said that you know i want to be a only cinematographer <laughs> no one is denying that you you be that you're already doing that my point is that <laughs> okay uh, when you own a project <laughs> like what is it, that's the reason when i when i was looking into the pictures i shared mm. the pictures i shared it on the screen i wanted to wanted to see it this is something mm. which is directly uh, you know coming from where you are operating from mm. maybe if you had haikus i would have kind of showed that also because yeah. that is that is uh, where uh, somewhere you know that is uh, not dictated by uh, again i'm not trying to get into power plays here i'm, I'm if you if you are able to understand where, where i'm trying to get this <laughs> is that <laughs> that is not dictated by any director's vision yes or yes. mixed with yes okay. right <laughs> so I, <laughs> i what i'm trying to get here is that you know like i want an output which is obviously on digital film i would request for like jabhi time tumhara ho <laughs> maybe you know like see life catches up okay very simple <laughs> you know here at the end of the day very simple is that you know like right now what's your age right now bhuvan uh, i'm i'm 37 hey, shaadi ho gaya hai ha to chap nahi hai to you are 37 so uh, fair enough i'm 37 uh, uh, and i'm going to complete 30 i'm going to be 38 this november 38 this november oh my goodness you're on the wronger end of uh, <laughs> 38 rather than me so and i i you said that in 20 when you were 21 you went to fti i remember yeah. when i was in 21 i i had gone to mtv and <laughs> yes, i was at yes. 36 yeah. and uh, if anyone would have told me i would be in in 36 sitting in infosys bank <laughs> to manage i still people. listen to soundbox you know i still listen uh, to sometimes yeah, yeah. i still go on youtube and i listen to you you know singing acoustic yeah. version of soundbox and yeah. uh, you know you know there are times ahi that your voice your music it just it just frees me it just frees me from a lot of uh, emotion it frees me basically it sets me free you know that's the right way to put it and i revisit your music from time to time whatever is there available on youtube mm-hmm. you know uh, there is a there there is a video which i truly like where you are jamming uh, with uh, i think raman sir aaj uh, okay music conservatory wala well. yes, yes, yes 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 oh. and you are jamming and uh, it's a some bengali folk song you mm. are singing there oh ji wonder is probably there yes yes, yes 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 it's, it's beautiful you know it's it, so so your voice to me is the most um uh Well, it, it has gotten not the exposure it uh, the the uh, the people of the world should no, no, have see, of your voice. The, the, I'll tell you one thing here. So I I yeah. uh, let's not you know uh, bask in our own past glories. <laughs> okay, like we pass that. Right now, you know, I I look at look at things uh, very humbly. I I think life. Uh, everyone has phases, as I said to you, yeah. right? Uh, like an artist. Yeah, can yeah. be an. This is. I'm an artist here also. Okay, this yeah. is also an art form. It 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 might not say an art form, but this is a way of expression. Whatever my, I think for me now, it's like a, come like a full circle. Okay, previously yeah. I used to kind of compartmentalize. 
that became a bit yeah. that's you know i'll tell you the moment i stopped compartmentalizing myself so i used to be very uh, like mera aisa hota tha ki you know okay this is my artist part this is my job part this is my personal life part and yeah me part partition karke so similar i still i still have the habit right i asked you yeah. how much percentage do you listen how much percentage do you read how how much percentage yeah. do you read in day so this has been my life problem all all the time i like yeah. to quantify things wo ho jata hai but uh, my point is that here ki you know uh, i feel it's life uh, if if a person gets defined hmm. uh, how he is so yeah obviously sing i am very grateful you know like I have I've never quit singing I have just uh, I have not taken it up as a profession mm. or I have not taken music up as a profession or I have not taken anything else up apart from that mera my thing was very simple I I did it for a while after that mm. it tell you know I'll tell you uh, be it most probably uh see I'm a very independent uh, mm. artist or a creative okay so my thing is that you know after a point of time and thankfully in my life uh, i have oh. never been like in a very very bad situations where i had to kind yeah. of do something so now that is one thing okay that is uh, so uh, touch wood you know uh, thankfully utna thora privilege tha life mein theek hai that you know i could make my own choices but later i realized that my thing was very oh. simple that you hmm. know uh, the the profession right now i'm in i'm in hmm. and and i get ample free time man okay to do what hmm. i do like doing so and that's actually helping me a lot okay through this oh. only okay through this uh, even podcast only there are hmm. times i'm connecting with so many people i never i'll show you a list okay i'm booked till june i'm booked hmm. till june and i june and i'm running late two months january i'll tell you so this is from january 5th my last shoot was with suraj and the next week it comes that okay you have to shift to bangalore and all that so i was so caught up all my shoots from mm. january february mm. and march mm. three months mm. understand three months mm. almost i do not know i have to my excel sheet most probably how many people three mm. months ka shoot is pending and i am mm. standing in april may june so 3 to 6 months of even if i say 6 months and yeah. i every week i talk to one person 6 is 24 yeah. yeah i have still have to have discussions with 24 people and this is not music i started is <laughs> and it's the first season so this is going to be uh, so and apart from that apart from mm. that i've got already unreleased episodes uh most probably around uh, 18 to 20 so that mm. means i'm understand the what i'm trying to say the, yeah yeah this is the reason why i do it because uh, i will and uh, when i stopped compartmentalizing myself as rahi the singer or i uh, also specifically i'll tell you one thing uh, this is and again not being snobbish not uh, being obviously i love my own language Uh, my mother tongue yeah but the moment i realized uh, mm. you know i've been in part of six cities and i've got friends uh, who speak different languages yeah okay and i have seen this friend in the city that i am out that mm. you know and this is this happens with every most probably language where we have extremists that and i've come across that you know i'm talking in english with someone they know perfectly well english hindi yeah. so bangla i bolo na keno and my <laughs> thing is that man uh, you know i love your bangla i'm not sitting in bangla bangla uh, i i love bangla i write to love in bangla but those snobs is like uh, i'm i'm not doing a rant here but my point is that if i talk in bengali how will a bangalorean person understand it how yeah. is going to be a person from bombay going to understand it how a person yeah. in sitting in indore going to understand it how is how do i explain this yeah. to someone in chennai yeah. right 
it is not mm. about you know I, i don't know what you uh, uh, take it from but i'm just sharing okay so mm-hmm. it's very simple actually so, actually uh, i feel the same way uh, yeah. when i went to fti uh, it's a something i learned from the campus is that uh-huh. there uh, i started because it's the first instinct to be pally with your senior is to start talking to him in bengali the mm-hmm. first few months i learned the hardest and the harshest way possible that language can create barriers absolutely so uh, the job of a job of good communication is to remove the barriers so so it doesn't mean whether i speak i understand marathi uh, i speak it like little bit broken marathi but uh, uh, talk, but i generally like to talk in hindi and english so that it is so that uh, people don't uh, are, don't feel left out Mm-hmm. you know so right. that uh, it's a more inclusive approach to communication correct correct i'll give you one example here you know uh, i've heard this obviously i'm sure this happens in uh, some parts of the city also but till now mm-hmm. okay everyone has um, uh-huh. where i've talked in hindi na everyone mm-hmm. has talked back to me in hindi i have heard mm-hmm. these horror stories that you know the people kind of and that's why i feel bangalore is, is very inclusive similar with in bombay you know mm-hmm. like anyone can get into bombay be it from any part of the uh, you know country and they will feel at home yeah similarly i find this vibe in uh, you know bangalore too i i see so many people you know uh, you know like mixing you know most of the i'll tell you most of the folks who report into me are uh, folks who you know talk in kannada and everything these folks from mm. you know bangalore itself some are from hyderabad and all that <coughs> but they <coughs> talk in english and even if i sometimes say anything in, in hindi i myself am very aware okay you know maybe they do not understand so i i repeat myself in english sometimes so wo hona chahiye but but i feel somewhere and this is again not a rant but it comes mm. across let it be a rant doesn't matter mm. can't touch mm. me i'm i'm untouchable you cannot touch me if anyone wants to touch me you have to go through a lot of problems so i have been there done that so my point is that what i've noticed recently with specific uh, bengalis from bengal who are residing in calcutta okay mm. not bengalis who have got the exposure of being outside calcutta and oh. uh, you know kind of interacting with the rest of the folks specifically very small snobbishly uh, kind of you know the uh, when it's not it's and it's not the people who do not understand english or or or, or has issues with talking in english it's very very you know kind of uh, learned people oh. i don't know why we are getting into the snobbishness that you know bhasha bachao and all that bhasha is never going to be dead dear man you are going to be dead some day and those bhasha is oh. always going to stay you know but anyways the, the, oh. this the tangent mein aa gaya thoda chala gaya but this, this is also like, uh, this is this is also rahi just to take it forward yeah, this yeah. is also the difference between the indian film industry and the bengali film industry mm mm-hmm. no you were, i i wanted or to rather the hindi film industry how, how is the, yeah, yeah how is the approach that you know you found in in bengali you have worked in different different kind of uh, you know so how yes, is the yes, bengali yes, film yes. industry television industry and how is the rest of the kind of industries that you work with let's kind of so 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 the most so bombay uh, so all the d- industries are very very different they has have their own uh, parameters the way i look at it it's like uh, bombay if if bombay is a sea or a ocean uh, you know uh, hyderabad is another sea another ocean uh, so is chennai uh, so is calcutta but uh, ma i feel there is a lack of professionalism that is something i have felt in smaller industries not as per se uh, i'm talking about bengali film industry but i'm talking about smaller regional industries there is a certain lack of professionalism maybe it comes from the budget maybe it comes from uh, a lack of responsibility maybe it comes from somewhere else that i don't know of uh but there is there is a difference there is a marked difference from a dop uh, for or, or from for not a dop for for any any 
बडी फ्रॉम बॉम्बे फिल्म इंडस्ट्री और चेन्नई फिल्म इंडस्ट्री और हैदराबाद फिल्म इंडस्ट्री द टॉप थ्री इंडस्ट्रीज इन द कंट्री एंड द एंड द अदर रीजनल इंडस्ट्रीज दर इज अ मेजर डिफरेंस is a major difference in the way they approach work the way they uh, you know the, the the way they they prep so a lot of our work happens in preparation okay a lot of our work happens in post production it's not uh, in smaller regional industries people only want to do production and get done with it and that also in a uh, as fast as possible get it done you know it there there is an attitude of uh, i'm not saying all or everybody there's a disclaimer uh-huh. there uh, uh, but most of the cases uh, there is this regional industry comes up with some remarkable gems brilliant work from time to time but the most of the work that they, those industries produce the mass work that they produce not that one film in two years or uh, two films in one year i'm not talking about that kind of uh, numbers the kind of numbers i'm talking about is like what is about the ni- rest of the 90% of the work that the industry is producing what is the standard of that you know so so there is uh, there, there there is a lot to grow and learn from other industries and be more inclusive you know and uh, uh embrace technology more uh, rather than blaming it that we don't have budget because we are regional you know these are kind of these are excuses that we don't have budget we are regional uh, well there are cheaper cameras also that shoot 4k you know that's not the point the point is do you the the the, the point is if you have a first if you do you have a vision uh, if you have a vision then do you uh, how do we execute it you know and uh, a lot of the times in regional industries execution suffer because of this attitude called penny wise pound foolishness which is a very common indian middle class problem reiterate once it's, it's very interesting kya bola penny wise pound penny wise pound foolish penny wise pound foolish it's a very indian middle class problem where you try to save 5 rupees and you spend 50 okay so 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 that is something that i've seen is more uh, in regional work uh, uh, than uh, in bombay hyderabad and chennai okay also respecting Fair people's enough. time you know our industry will will become any industry will grow if you respect people's time regional industry somehow are uh, not very technician oriented they are more uh, producer oriented uh, star oriented which is like there in everywhere but uh, respecting people's time is very important uh, you can say that uh, there are big stars who don't respect other people's time in hindi in chennai uh, in tamil and in hyderabad but those are exceptions uh, uh, i would say that uh, all these three industries chennai hyderabad and bombay are very well oiled machines uh, they they take uh, they work on the details uh, of that machine to make it function well regional industries they don't work on details so much uh, and uh, they like to hang on to their past glory that I, that there was this director 50 years back who got an oscar you know so so those kind of things you know uh, cinema has moved on uh, you know so so yeah man that is something that i have felt a striking difference between work attitude work approach uh, amongst regional industries and the the three other three other reg- uh, industries bombay hyderabad and chennai and not in that order okay let me ask you something uh, oh. uh what is your influence uh, as in um, who are your uh, you know influences in terms of uh, cinema if you could give me like four to five names like like do you want to uh, talk about directors films or uh, cine cinematographers i want names uh, where okay. if you had to present cinema i'm not uh, making yeah. it uh, like obviously like 
so very simple like i'll i'll tell you like for for for, for a layman okay like uh, obviously when you are going to talk about a cinematographer you are getting into techniques and all that but then mm-hmm. again mm-hmm. there might be who would so let, let me even make this easier for you mm-hmm. a person is interested in cinema maybe a mm-hmm. 18 year old kid maybe tumhara mm-hmm. para ka koi ek hai उसका मम्मी oh. आके बोलता है तुमको तुम तो दादा ये मैं करते हो ये सब एंड दिस फर्स्ट यू डोंट टेक इट वेरी सीरियसली देन यू मीट द चाइल्ड यू सी ओके ही हैज गॉट गुड इंटरेस्ट एंड यू रियली वांट टू काइंड ऑफ यू नो बिकॉज़ सी यू आर अगेन यू सेड यू आर यू नो 37 38 हो जाएगा सो दैट्स इट सो यू 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 हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस एंड यू नो दैट यू नो 20 और 18 और 20 इज अ टाइम like 20 to 30 that's the time when life mm. happens mm. like your like uh, like your most of your life decisions or mm. uh, how your future life is going to be like mm. if if you mm. don't do not make a disruption later in your life uh, the basic seeds obviously see childhood is there basic seeds so that, that mm. is their childhood to studying college school all this there but a uh, basic as in um, what should i say that's the time when a, a teenager can take and you know kind of gets into that uh, place where okay now i can, i've kind of you know i'm passing out from college i have to find a vocation i have to take things oh. a bit seriously and i can take also risks okay i oh. also right now can take risks because though i this because there's i've selective have very very specifically taken some decisions in my life where i want to be risk free you know i have i want to be very much uh, as in uh, responsibility free is a very irresponsible word but oh. uh, or, uh, like i i want to be able to again coming back to that red suit case i want to you know if i feel like tomorrow i want to be in goa and i have got a good gig or maybe if i want mm. to you know maybe travel outside somewhere where i've got a good opportunity i want to go to actually one of the cities i i really really want to go since you had mentioned hyderabad is hyderabad i oh, really yeah. i've never been to hyderabad i really want to go to hyderabad a lot of friends of mine are also there uh and yeah. i know in the industry i mean there might be some chances so hyderabad is obviously there uh, that is oh, one yeah. uh you know like very i'll, I'll give you an example here uh, yeah very uh, what should i say like bangla te ashle par mathe ashle je english ta ashche na khub adbhut bhabe strangely very hmm. see uh, this is this is why i'm a bengali i don't need to be a snob bangla i bolle it's coming in english fair enough that is also my <laughs> uh, so very strangely very strangely yeah. you know the project that i am working for in nnp when i had joined i had got two options okay hmm. so like will you join in pune or will you join in bangalore okay yeah i have i did not choose pune you know why because why? i know that i do not want to associate pune with corporate life because the, the the memory of pune that i have is very <laughs> very very bahut bahut you know like rasgulla kind of it's like <laughs> very sweet very beautiful so you do not want to like like when you make something when you know that you, that yeah. as you said that you were invested in this yeah so you have a part of it you that, that you're involved in it you know that's yeah. a very special movie for you so yeah. my thing was i'm done with that city not say i'm yeah. done with the city like a breakup it's like a very good relationship i had uh yeah. with that city similarly like a city of mumbai i will not want to go to mumbai right now unless it's like my last option or maybe a pune or yeah. maybe even see i'll tell you the see i my my thing is my name is rahi right so yeah. uh, what does rahi mean it's it means musafir traveler yes so i'm like making yeah. this bucket list okay like See, I, yeah. if i want to call myself a uh, you know kind of a global indian let's kind of put it that way i cannot stick yeah. to okay you know i i've been to bombay i have been to kind of i've been a bengali and all. i re, i've been or chennai so as i said six city and you should have you gone to indore ever yeah of course i indore? shot there uh, my last feature yeah, film in- i shot there oh man indore is uh, very clean but indore is very nice indore was one very of nice. 
very nice and it was lovely uh, lovely vibe. lovely people right. lovely food great vibe very well. really and like and, 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 and the best the thing one... about indore best thing about indore yeah. what i love about that city is that uh, people are very aware of cleanliness it's right. general there's a cleanliness awareness among among people and and uh, late in the night the municipality there washes the streets people wash streets you know i have not seen it anywhere in india i have seen it in indore whether it is winter whether it is summer whether whenever people they, the streets are being washed like the way we right. wash ourselves you know it I, is beautiful it no 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 yeah. i i know what you are saying but i'll tell you one thing the place that i am in is in electronic city uh, yeah. smoking is prohibited uh, throughout the you know places where the state yes, companies yes. are this is the first time and it was such a relief for me you know huh. uh, i'll tell you because uh, it's it's so much easier you know in in calcutta if you go near uh, the you know wipro building it looks like a smoking room yeah okay it's like all it's like you will feel the kind of smoke uh, kind of feel so uh, yeah coming back to the point that i was saying okay, you know like cities uh huh. that's the reason i did not take in pune i was like nahi uh-huh. ye ye thoda acha memory hai life ka theek hai ye aisa iske sath i want to associate you know beautiful pune was like i still i that's when i'm saying this i still can right. you know it's in my memory it's still there i can and i i can still get back to that place where you know i i took up a place nearby yeah uh, yeah i i still remember that times and you know i had gone uh, the day tumhara room pe bhi wahan pe gaya tha i remember that coffee yeah. thing from there and how you kind of yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, was there all these things and obviously the classes that i had that was obviously there but you know that's yeah. the thing that's the reason i did not want to and obviously there's yeah. always the thing of uh, knowing a new city and yeah. i knew that the work that i am in uh, doing yeah. now this is the yeah. city i have to be in, if yeah. i am in india right apart from that the close second comes to hyderabad that's the reason i'm yeah. like thinking abhi to yahan pe aaya hu that's uh, hyderabad is there never been to delhi you know ah. it's so i have never been to delhi but i want to go to delhi also so delhi hai hyderabad hai i do not think any other city i am kind of thinking as of now these two cities are in my mind uh, so first of all we bangalore thoda dekh lete hai kaise everything is good. because see uh, this is this is what i like and here it's very similar culture to yeah. uh, bombay man everyone minds their yeah. own business kaam karo kaam se kaam lo very simple that's <laughs> and yeah so that's the reason um, yeah i was saying that um, all these things coming to one uh, the question that i was kind to go from here what is your favorite city in india yeah and yeah why? because i am uh, <laughs> uh, what's my favorite city in india Ooh, and why good it cannot be kolkata it is not kolkata it is pune okay okay, okay. it's pune because it's spent uh, uh it's pune yeah it's it, it's i spent my formative years of my life there um and i think it has got a the, the city has a great energy of academic energy you know or learning curiosity it uh, then uh, i also find the city uh, is more aware the under the community in pune is more uh, uh, into health into fitness into good food into uh, into uh, into having a good lifestyle you know uh, and that awareness is there throughout the people of pune uh, it's not about the only rich upper class it's there in the middle class also and uh, uh, yeah man and 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 and, and i i feel pune like a uh, home uh, 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 i i, I went, last time i went to pune was to take a workshop in fki in december and tell me more about this tell I was, me more about this Yeah, what was this about and all that? It's uh, this was about. Uh, it's very very interesting actually. So uh, so FTI people reached out. FTI reached out to me last year in uh, August September uh, for a mm-hmm. workshop, 
uh okay. and uh, i was like okay i'm open to it and then every month they would ask me for the next month dates and somehow because of uh proceed procedures uh the date would shift and it finally happened in december and i was a little scared uh to be honest uh, to go to fti to your own film school and go there and take a class um but the best thing that i happened was i approached uh when i when i landed in fti uh in pune uh, um uh, i just felt that i am home you know uh, mm-hmm. and uh, and there was a lot of love and empathy uh from the students from the faculty from the space in itself fti mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. also the city uh i would say that i didn't uh, like like pune has changed a lot uh since i was there the last time maybe 2017 i was there last and then i was there in 2024 uh, 2023 uh it has changed a lot uh but uh, somehow i feel very comfortable the moment i the, in the air of pune you know uh i feel at home i uh feel very calm and loved and uh, all of that comes together when you enter the campus in fti and you interact with the students uh, it's a very uh, joyful uh, and um, uh, and a very healing experience hmm. so kolkata was the city you were born into pune was yeah. the city you chose so yeah. choice... but Mo- bombay is the city i'm living in hmm so bombay bhi i think uh, bombay so why why not bombay if i may ask oh bombay i am st- bombay is the uh, bombay is somebody i am in love with uh, right now currently uh, pune is like an old love it's like an ex lover you know so oh, so so okay. the so the mem- so 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 you have more emotions mm-hmm. more uh, you know uh, more uh, you know you look back at old love with rose tinted glasses right mm-hmm. yeah bombay is the bombay is the one that i am in love right now good air and i'll tell you one thing i am in love with bangalore right now maybe it uh-huh. happens some sometimes yes. you know, like there's and i'm i'm telling you this uh, this is a thing i don't know if it it is intuition or not hmm. uh, but i was you know i was when i was in indore again not again not making judgments but i'll always end up kind of doing something someone is going to get pissed off you cannot help it <laughs> so if if it so my thing is that you know i have <clears throat> i was doing a very good uh, like like i was working for a very good uh, company in in yeah. kind of indoor as in the vendor to be precise yeah. was very very big you know like social media tech yeah. giant okay the one of yeah. the reasons i kind of jumped the gun from there and i took this opportunity to you know kind of uh, yeah here because here the vendor is another like search engine giant so obviously i want to kind of you yeah. know kind of do those things not obviously cannot name those uh, but yeah somewhere though i stayed in indore for a while uh, yeah. i could not connect now this is not wrong okay this is i, I have a lot of love for indore I have yes. a lot of love for Indore, but for me, Bangalore, I could instantly connect. Yeah, I, it, I could instantly. I did not like the moment I am in. Uh, maybe is because you know I I know a lot of people who, whom I work with. That might be the thing, but there's a vibe. Yeah, yeah. there's this vibe, but it's a thing. I feel that uh, when you are surrounded by very similar-minded folks. Uh, yeah. obviously see every city will have its ups and downs that is obviously there but uh, yeah. every city kind of uh, leaves something with you you know mm. like <clears throat> you know like uh, this is my sixth city which i'm living in so every city leaves, leaves. because i i still remember in bombay um, i had visited uh, your flat and uske upar we had uh, yeah, uh, terrace gone a terrace we had gone you know uh, those yeah. kind of conversations so, so many conversations you said those i still <laughs> remember that's the reason i don't want to kind of go back to bombay because bombay is that bombay is also the studio that is in uh, there yeah. all these things so yeah. like beautiful beautiful kind of stuff that is there 
um again those this is again most probably becoming a more conversational thing but yes the idea is that the idea is to have a good conversation yeah. i want my ideal audience for is yeah. going to be someone who wants to kind of you know at the end of the day or maybe if someone is watching in the afternoon have a good kind of a coffee or maybe uh, sit with some chai and listen yeah. Yeah. like the third person kind of observing and yeah. maybe get a bit of an essence of what we are trying because yeah. when when you talk about when you're talking about pune and all that uh, you kind of are giving that vibe you know your your face <laughs> is giving that vibe i can understand that <laughs> and i'm sure you know most probably uh, you know what will happen is that most probably someone i i hopefully see i don't care how many people kind of listen to this or uh, see this even my target audience is like three people three people if if even yeah. they see this yeah if they are okay oh man i had a good time kind of okay these guys were <laughs> like chilling out i also had a chilled out time you know this is like a de stressor you know that's the thing mm. uh, so yeah coming back to the uh, question which you did not answer yeah you are introducing a kid yeah to two cinema five names to cinema what are the five names would you give irrespective cinematographer and why again the why is important because i will also learn from it i'm that 18 or year old kid so a uh, 18 year old kid uh, like it depends uh, what do you want to do uh, in cinema cinema is a medium right So, Wait, what, so so you, I'll, I'll I'll make it easier for you. I'll yeah, make it easier for you. Eighteen year old kid, Bangla, they can say Bangla. This is from Bengali. Uh, Ray yeah. is God. Uh, Brilliant is God. Rithik Rithik is God. And uh, this is this has been typical Bengali family coming from uh, has done uh, is obviously English medium three schooled. Uh, most probably will get into engineering. <clears throat> or maybe management later but really doesn't want to do it doesn't want yeah. to end up being you know uh, another rahi and uh, wants <laughs> to do film okay wants to seriously want to do film and uh, yeah so that is that is what they want to do so what so, what what so are the would, five yeah yeah kind of see uh, it's very uh, i would definitely suggest everybody the first name in my head is andre tarkovsky uh and he has made very few films in his life uh i would suggest everybody who wants to even uh they like want to give cinema a chance in their lives mm-hmm. should watch all the films of andrei tarkovsky you know if if i may ask uh, when you are mentioning a name can you give two movie names yes so that it's much easier selection is much so easier so for tarkovsky uh, there is something called ivan's childhood it's his first released feature film mm-hmm. and uh, then i would say sacrifice which is his last feature film uh, but uh, there are hardly seven films to watch uh, i just uh, so so these are the two films i would definitely want everybody to take a look at uh, okay my second uh, favorite director would be alfred hitchcock and uh, uh if you if you want to look at hitchcock then uh, please oh where to start from man? just look at vertigo uh look at rio window look at psycho look at whatever and well, let's just just uh, just watch just sit hitchcock. with hitchcock just, just, just sit with hitchcock uh, by the way like like i have yes, you yes, read sorry yes. i i yes. keep interrupting but yeah have you read that uh, kubrick's book on hitchcock yes 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 i've yes. read it oh, and wow. and and since you gave the th- um, uh, i'm not going to say kubrick because i can say kubrick um kubrick is a little advanced i would say uh-huh. uh for a 18 year old yeah of course you can watch it uh it's it's going to be uh, if you are looking at kubrick please watch uh, 2001 a space odyssey and shining these are the two of my favorite kubrick works um, and uh, if you are looking at uh, ken loach is somebody who really inspired my work he's a he's a um, irish filmmaker uh, you know uh, give me some there's a names. film called kes yeah kes oh. k e s kes uh, k e s kes 
then there is wind that shakes the bali uh then uh, there is uh, then there is uh, recent times uh, actually i would if it's an 18 year old wants to look at cinema let's look at uh, you know uh, some somebody who has actually also inspired me a lot in my cinematography is the cinema of uh, Mm. Fernando Ezequiel Solanas uh he yeah he uh, so so there are these films called the voyage el voyage and there's the film called uh, you know there's another film called uh, it's about the theater uh, theater of the absorbed or what no 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 no, no. Uh, so Solanas has not made that. Solanas has made uh, the voyage, and Solanas has made another film. Uh, it's about. Uh, let me just tell you quickly. Uh, it's a beautiful film. One sec. Okay. It's very difficult to remember names. So many. No, it doesn't matter. This is not a math test. This is not a IAS exam. You can just Google it. If if you have Google and AI, why do I need to remember a name? Very yeah, uh, it is called Sur, the South. It's called Sur, the South. Mm -hmm. uh, then there is El Voyage, and okay. then there is that. Um, uh, then there is that famous film uh, called. Uh, the furnaces. It's called the. What is it called? Uh, one second. Hold on. Anyways, just uh, I I am not able to recall it right now, but mm. uh, do talk, take a look at anything that you can find on Fernando Solanas. Uh, he uses magic realism. in his work uh, of cinema and uh, that is a very special way of breaking the image uh, from the hollywood way of looking at it mm -hmm. so 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 that is something uh, i really enjoy looking at his work of course francis ford coppola apocalypse now godfather you name it uh, <laughs> recently i've been watching uh, pablo lora uh he's my i really like his work he has done this film called no he has also done this film called uh, uh fuga he has also done this film called spencer he has done a, uh, so he's a brilliant latin american filmmaker then there is guillermo del toro as we all know uh so i would so you know something menal that told me when i was uh, doing uh, studying under him in uh, in calcutta so i did a small course in calcutta for film appreciation when menal sen came and took the master workshop so i asked the same question to menal da asked him that uh, menal da how does a, how does one learn cinema so how to make films how do you learn how to make films he said that you know you have to just watch films voraciously and not watch them once watch them twice watch them thrice a lot of times switch off the soundtrack and watch it you know you see a lot more you feel the sound actually you know that th these are very important things okay i will ask you something here uh, yeah. wait that i wanted to kind of put this in once tell me something about your uh, experience uh, for you know working for kali season 2 <laughs> completely you know uh, change the whole thing yeah asking yeah kali season 2 man it happened in 2019 uh it was a humbling and a learning experience uh it stretched me to my uh, stretched me to my limit i would suggest the project uh it was uh it was it was like uh, you know 
it was like uh, uh, going to a war you know for 42 days because uh, there was so much to shoot so little time and uh, there were so many uh, uh, there was so many things that was variable the variables were too too much for kali mm, you know sometimes the location that we were shooting in the mon uh, we, we we did recce was not available on the day of the shoot uh, as you know kali 2 was completely shot in calcutta uh, uh, it was all it was a hindi production by a calcutta production house so we almost worked with the entire federation the guild the entire like the the commercial bengali film industry uh, and uh, i would say that you know <laughs> working with somebody like pauli was uh, was a great thing it was a great learning experience pauli dam is one of the best action stars female action stars of the country uh, she is she is a pheno phenomenon you know how the energy she brings to the set the kind of improvisation she brings on uh, the kind of timing rhythm she is just brilliant uh, i discovered uh, chandan roy sanyal uh, and abhishek banerji who were there also uh, and they were phenomenal actors uh, they are just so good working with such great quality actors there's a there's this actor called rahul uh, rahul uh, rahul da we used to call him uh, he was doing the role of inspector aniket so rahul, these are like very name, kya bolo sir full name kaun sa rahul orunoday pura naam ta bhi bhule gaye the acha acha okay okay so one sec let me just tell you that Rahul Banerjee. That's like the most Rahul. commonest name. Like you even <laughs> even confuse me more. I asked you for specifics. Like okay, Rahul yeah. is the most commonest name, and I asked Rahul you for specifics. Rahul Orunoda Banerjee. Uh, I think okay. Yeah. I, I think um, uh, I, I I remember, but Mathe has to. Yeah. So so uh, Kali uh, is something that uh, at least you can play the trailer, trailer for your audience. You know. We will we'll um, get a copyright. That I think we will get a copyright on that one. Oh, no, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Great. If you can play Tata Wire, and you can also play and. Uh, no, no, YouTube. And yeah, by yeah, the way, Kali, to... Kali streaming on oh. Z5. Is still Z5 streaming on Z5. I don't want. I, I don't want to get a uh, copyright strike from Z5. <laughs> no, no, you're not going to get any copyright. Okay. You're playing the trailer. You're playing the trailer. Oh, so, so. Wait, wait, wait. Let me pull this up. Okay, this is good. Disconnected. Wait, let me connect this. Okay, Kali season two, na. Hmm. Hi, I'm getting a lot of different different answers on this one. Okay. Do you uh, have the link with you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see season two. Hi, I see, I see, see season two. Wait, let me share my screen. Okay. Yeah, well, na. Wait. You're able to see, right? Screen. No, no. That is a recap. That's a recap. Not this. Okay. That's a. Let me let me share it with. Season two. ये वाला ना हिंदी वाला राइट 
great man i'll, I'll check so i i already have my in the kind of evening evening to nahi already it's like 9:30 to kind of sorted out in that case uh to yeah, kind yeah. of do watch, watch kali season 2 it's fun yeah 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 it's I, fun I check. i'll check that Yeah. Uh, so, so working with Sheila Ji was so much fun. Yeah. He used to, uh, you know, Sheila Da used to start singing in the middle of the shot, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, and he would keep everybody's energies up uh, in hard long days. You know, he is mm-hmm. so much. He is a pleasure to work with. And uh, one thing that I find is that the Calcutta film industry, the Bengali film industry, has so much talent. Yeah. There's so much talent. It's like like i would be honest if i tell you that the it's unfair how much talent calcutta has but it is untapped that and happens. it is untapped yeah. because and it's untapped because the because of there is no potential projects happening so many times there's it's a small industry so so mm-hmm. opportunities are lesser you know for talent okay. uh, to come out you know uh, I, I, I wish I got a huh. Yes go ahead sorry I, I wish this off. this industry the Calcutta film industry becomes bigger uh and uh bigger and bigger and gets more and more audience and the talent in Bengal gets more and more opportunities that is very important that is really important uh for the world to see you know like what we see right now coming from calcutta or from bengal in the last 30 years is like not even 1% okay fair enough i am more interested about something else yeah i'm very selfish not, yes, yes, yes i'm not going to say i'm not interested in what's happening in bengal I'm not saying yeah. that it i just might say that doesn't matter i'm more in- okay. interested about where i am in right now and i am uh, I want to get some. Su- I asked you for movie suggestions of, uh, like, name suggestions for, uh, like, cinema and all that. I, I kind of asked you, like, names of directors, cinematographers, all that. Uh-huh. Now it's going to be much more personal and uh, much more selfish ask here. Uh-huh. That is, you you mentioned like when you kind of uh, were preparing for FTI, you were suggested, but you did not do it. Uh, that you know kind of uh, taking that book what was the name of the book in malayalam Malala manorama manorama malayalam yeah M- manorama manorama it's the book na it's the manorama ha book ha correct correct so what i'm saying is that okay, for me right now you know i have recently and this is an acquired taste hmm. uh which i've kind of uh, you might say it is uh, it has got two level of self two levels of selfishness first obviously uh to understand the people better whom uh i am surrounded with and i kind of work with that is mm. one and secondly is for me it's also also a cultural thing okay mm. so i've been recently very very uh, like i'm sure you got got a netflix uh, su- mm-hmm. here subscription right mm. so if you have it on your phone it would be easier yeah. even Uh, uh, yeah. on your other phone that is not the phone that you also obviously yeah, yeah 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 tell me so tell me. i want some suggestions maybe you know uh, four to five names that comes to your mind uh, okay of south indian web series or movies okay uh, that is pretty good which i should be watching uh, if it is in kannada nothing like it great you know if you can deem else it it if it's even south i'm okay with it you know i'm andhra and all these things i'm i'm okay with it so if if you if are you, you have familiar with name, the work of uh, yeah of course are you work with uh, familiar with the work of lijo joseph pelisari yeah yeah i its name is very very uh, like i'm it's just coming Similar. tell me one or two ha huh. yeah he has made this film called angamali diaries he has made okay. this film called jali kattu he has made this film called okay. churuli uh okay. try looking at his work okay there are some okay. of it Let is there see. in netflix i'm 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 writing it down only okay yeah sure uh, sure sure here because i'll be yes ke i'll sit with this edit for uh, after by i won't have the energy to do this edit today uh ha so bolo <laughs> kya naam hai what yeah ha what's the name lijo joseph pelisari okay lijo joseph 
okay look at his work that, look at the uh, the work of um, this guy <coughs> uh, have you seen kgf yeah when i was in indore i had seen kgf i was crazy about kgf kgf yeah, kgf yeah, yeah, to mera yeah, yeah. ek like kutte the... ka naam sultan rakh diya bhai itna in, itna josh mein aa gaya and uh, because i like the way the director uh, approached the film yeah uh, it's I, i i think it's ground break i think kgf is a ground breaking work um, when it comes to uh, you know when it comes to editing storytelling you know it's uh, it's quite ground breaking for uh, mm -hmm. indian audience mm -hmm. yeah, we yeah, generally yeah, look yeah, at cool. see, mm -hmm. bolo bolo you know lokesh kanagraj lokesh kanagraj is one of the directors uh, prashant mm -hmm. neel to you already know uh, lokesh kanagraj is one of the directors who directed vikram mm -hmm. then okay have you seen ps1 ps2 by mani sir no no please watch no. ps1 ps2 by okay. mani sir they are beautiful the stories uh, it's a beautiful adaptation okay you know uh then there is another film i saw uh it's about that boxer uh, one sec let me just tell you this the my problem is i i am not able to pronounce the names you know uh, otherwise i would have to be a bolo uh, i'll i'll be able to just tell me the spelling also that will work doesn't matter ha ah, sarpatta parambarai sarpatta parambarai it's p it's it's a pa ranjit's uh, movie ranjit he he's also a great director huh? watch his work mm -hmm. you know okay Uh, there's one kannad film that i really liked um, by this director his next film is he's a festival director mm -hmm. <laughs> let me tell you. one second please tell me mm -hmm. Hey, what's the name of that film? Yeah, one sec. Hey, if you can cannot get it right now, you can ping me later also. No issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so, forward. so do watch pa Ranji Pa Ranjit's films. Uh, that okay. is something I just told you about Sarpatta Parambara. It's a very, very interesting uh, way of telling stories. And mm -hmm. I think South Indian cinema is. Uh, Uh, has a lot is lot closer to the culture that people live in than mm -hmm. the rest of the country cinema the because we live a life and our the uh, what we want to watch is a little little detached from where we are uh, while in mm -hmm. south india it is a lot closer to representing their own culture where they live in and through their language and through their understanding of the navarasa basically i'm sure you know mm -hmm. about that because uh, when you were in km conservatory this thing must have been spoken yeah, about yeah 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 chennai is uh, like that was again you know uh, very very that's one of the reasons where i have developed this affinity with food south indian mm. food mm. i i will not you do not have any idea you know like i was like literally on like it's like craving mm. when i pe people crave for cigarettes when they you know most first mm. thing they yeah. come out of most probably a long journey i was yeah. craving for south indian food that's the first thing i did you know like yeah. i have to go i have to eat 
south indian food I, it was like yeah. and I'm, i'm not joking with you okay the only food i've had outside till now is all south indian food yeah even in infosys even yeah when i'm doing breakfast when i'm doing because yeah. here i mean when i'm cooking inside i cannot yeah. cook south indian food <laughs> i'm learning that's my one of my goals for this quarter is going to be learn how to cook idli dosa and vada very simple south indian food i want to kind of master it i'm not joking i'm going to do it that's the thing because see here my cooking thing is very simple i cook very simple bengali vegetarian food and i like it i don't have any yeah. issue with it i sometimes i also i like rajma oh. chawal khichdi and all these oh. things uh, but uh, like there's something about it and i was seeing my history oh. in netflix here just to kind of uh, uh just where do i find my history here i'm seeing okay continue watching i'm seeing uh so i've been watching some good stuff you know i, I forget the name of these movies uh but uh, like i was watching some good uh, south films that is something which i want to kind of you know more explore maybe you know this uh, uh you know time but uh, while you know we we are already kind of uh, got into the 3 hour 9 minutes i think this is this is the reason i wanted to do this start my first spot pod- this podcast with you in bangalore because i knew this is you know something be- yeah because i did not want something which is half baked i did not want to spend after a week day uh, working the whole day trying to pull out answers from people i wanted to have a good conversation that is yeah. really you know because i feel very you know like i i feel uh, once you know i'm i'm kind of going to because i i see some calls have come on my phone which i will obviously kind of revert back to uh where you know i'll kind of get back to some most probably some updates and something at there but uh, my thing is that you know i wanted to have takeaways for me and i'm sure you know the folks that who are going to listen to it or see it uh who is going to page be patient enough to be till 3 hours 10 minutes because i will just cut small things i do not <laughs> i keep it out i keep the raw meat out jisko lena hai na wo log and this is a documentation i don't do i do it yeah. to have fun this is how i yeah. have fun and i i uh before i i get into a podcast and uh, after i i am a more learned person you know i learn new yeah. things that's the whole idea and that's uh, anyone who is uh, you know whoever kind of even follows this and knows this you know that's a, that's a kind of brand i i want to kind of be a part associated of very simple i do yeah. not want to be you know kind of uh, associated with anything that is uh, regarding okay what is my roi with this your roi is chilling out pleasure and having some knowledge in the process that's your roi so that's the whole idea behind it but i would you know i uh, i thought i would let you go with these conversations but i would ask you some questions which are typical yeah, of what i ask on my show reason being is i want to know these things this would be feel very mundane to you if i ask you or maybe Rahi, uh, one sec uh, just cutting you there sorry uh, ah, can i yeah. i am very thirsty can i stop and get a glass of water yeah yeah you can just go and get a glass of water kuch nahi i am waiting yeah, one sec uh, hold on this is very ha uh, koi nahi ha uh, sure i am pausing this acha no 3 hour 12 mein hai na yeah i am pausing this this come back wait wait oh okay. Okay, we are back from a quick break, and uh, yeah, we are in three hours twelve minutes. I think the longest yeah. virtual podcast that I've done, and I'm so glad I started with uh, Bhuvan uh, <laughs> on my Bengal, you know, uh, like Bangalore chapter. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really, really because this is what happens. I, you know, I'll tell you, I'll give you an example. I know, I don't know oh. how Bhuvan is going to kind of react to it. I started the virtual format with oh. Mantin and Devashish. <laughs> okay when i went virtual that was the first yeah. virtual episode i shot yeah. and this is the first virtual episode i'm shooting with in bangalore all right that also i started with you so see i told you if i if i like <laughs> something i i like it for a long long time so those are mm. my associations okay obviously i'll tell you one thing obviously there are ups and downs theek hai mm. now we are sitting and we are right now you know like we are going to uh, you know we are in our again wrong side of 30s 
there's no point in keeping you know like you yeah, i'm sure you know like whatever agar if there are any kind of misunderstandings or whatever you know i think that those are long gone and i just cherish those times okay the good things the bad things and yeah. everything and yeah. i'm very glad that you know very few people can keep in touch just like me and you right yeah. we, have, we have kept yeah. in touch for so many years and it has just happened yeah. you know? like uh, yeah. even even right now right now even it's happening i'm sure it's going to happen later also podcast ho jane ke yeah. something or something maybe we'll will you know and this is this is this is what i've seen i've i operate with a very close knit set okay uh because i do not get time nowadays to be actually and you know after a point of time you cannot make new friends it becomes more kind of you know uh, acquaintances right yeah. like i it has to be very like it takes a lot of time also to be very honest and yes there is there are exceptions that has happened uh, with me obviously but i trust very few people okay oh. i'll give you an example <clears throat> which which is a, like uh, i told you na robert greens uh, 48 laws of a pro- power you should kind oh. of read that Uh, he always kind of states things in examples okay there's oh. this rule and this this reversal of rule so oh. one reversal of rule is that uh, you know in bangalore uh, one of there's one of these folks uh, who are who is from my office uh, who reports under an, another uh, you know kind of uh, manager but uh, as in but that person had helped me kind of set up everything here as in all the contacts and everything at that point of time now i trust that person so much i gave an extra oh. key of my uh, apartment in a case if i oh. lose my key so oh. i i can trust people uh, very oh. uh, fast also obviously the, like some oh. some kind of things are there but the, again you know coming back to the main point so bangalore oh. chapter uh, starts with buban because of the trust you know of the trust and i know okay. this is content and i cannot yeah absolutely i cannot i cannot have a 3 hour 15 minute episode with a person whom i cannot relate with whom i really cannot have a conversation with it, right so that is very important and this is you will not have oh. any idea how much confidence i'll have in the coming so any episode shot in bangalore be it in this location or maybe i change it i go to i do it virtually or non virtually uh you know i kind of take my setup and kind of do will have this effect this is starting this is rolling oh. the ball okay you know i just so i oh. have started shooting after uh, almost two and a half three months because of my relocation oh. and i just needed this man i really needed this since, since that that's the reason itna kuma phira ke bola because I'll ask you some questions, and I want to see the answers. Oh. Okay, it might kind of appear yes. formal, but I'm also working on a format where I might it, this not might only be in a video form, uh, but mm-hmm. I do not know when I will get the time to kind of do that. But I will. It's you know kind of when you have a lot of stuff that is kind of piling up and mm-hmm. uh, you know uh, kind of do you you get a pattern you know you and you, mm. you get to know stuff. So let me ask you. Let me kind of cut the oh. cheese. What purchase of three lakh or less has most positively impacted your life in the last six months or in recent memory? Can you ex- can you explain the question? I didn't understand it. What purchase? Okay. What purchase? purchase of what I have ha, purchase? What purchase? Ha. Is there uh-huh. some uh-huh. cheese that you have kind of bought? In purchase the last, in the last six, months, six months yeah yeah which is which is not more than of a value of say 3 to 4 lakhs is below that mm-hmm. it can be even 10 rupees i don't kind of mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. just has something which mm-hmm. has most positively impacted your life in the last six months Oh. within the you know in, impacted your life in the last 6 months if there's something it can be if it's not in last 6 months it can be in something in recent memory just last like six something months. what i'll i'll yeah, give yeah, you an example me, no 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 i i already have the answer you forgot <laughs> okay fair yeah, super yeah, yeah. Right. Huh. that has impacted my life positively in the last 6 months some that i've purchased uh anything below 2 uh, to 4 lakhs uh actually it's all about lakhs uh or the amount of money it's color it's color it's okay. okay color i have purchased color in last 6 months mm-hmm. paints for painting 
I have purchased okay. tubes of paints. I have purchased canvases. I have purchased uh, uh, art, uh, uh, you know, books where I paint, A A4 size books, hardcover books, you know. But color, primarily color, uh, is to is to tell you that I have purchased color, and uh, that that has the most profound positive impact on me. Okay. Okay. So, did you purchase this online, or you did went physically to the shop and bought it? Both, so both, both. Both. Okay. First, I had to go physically because I did not know because I'm uh, completely uninitiated to art. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. so I had to go see things physically. Then sometimes uh, I buy things physically, mm -hmm. but then according to the price, sometimes I buy things mm -hmm. from uh, online. You know? Okay. Okay, so this is your new thing, and that has helped, like, impacted your life in, as in, kind of creating new art forms. Very, very. Well, it's, it's, it's not. It's more than creation. It's basically mindfulness. It's a meditative process. Uh, so, so of course, anything that is more that is meditative has a very profound and a, a positive impact on me. Okay, I'll I'll ask a. Uh, Tangent question here. Yes. Uh, any any electronic or any gadgets that you've kind of purchased, uh, or any app that you have purchased that has also impacted you, purchased or kind of downloaded. Let's kind of see. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be uh, the meditation app that I use. Uh, it is called the Down Dog Meditation app. Um, uh, I have been using it for a while now. Uh, they have been kind enough to let me use it for free for a while, but then I purchased that app, and um, it's it it helps with my meditation practice. Okay, it's called it's called the Down Dove. Down Dog, Down Dog is a pose down in dog. yoga. Down Dog meditation. Down Dog, okay. Down <coughs> Dog meditation. Yes, yeah. it's available on iOS and Android both. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, fair enough. Um, Okay, the next question would be, how has a failure or apparent oh. failure set you up for oh. a later success? And do you have any favorite failure of yours? Lots, actually. Lots. I have favorite a lot of failure. failures. I, I, I love failures, actually. I am... Uh, um, I just love to fail. Uh, to, to, but I don't like to repeat my failures. I like to fail okay. a new way every time. Uh, okay. That is, uh, I, I tell everybody who works with me that uh, never, never be afraid to uh, to fail, uh, but do not repeat the failure. Make a new new mistake every time. Uh, okay. So 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 yeah, man. I have I have you know uh, okay. in multiple ways the, and in uh, any specific. Well, any specific yes, failure yes, of yes. yours which you can discuss that is if you want to kind of yeah uh, if it's personal then fair no issues but, no, no, uh, of, uh, see it is it is everything is uh, beyond the point but uh, i can look at it uh, um, see the whole idea of the whole idea of uh, failure and success is the concept that I failed at. Okay, that's interesting. The whole idea yeah. of failure and success is a concept that you have failed at. Achha, that's yes. interesting. Yes, it doesn't work for me. Okay. So how is it? How do you and kind that is of uh, judge? Achha. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. You are saying because, something. Uh, Yes, because uh, it's my favorite failure actually in life so far. Uh, that uh, because I think say failure and success is a judgment more than uh, and people judging themselves or anybody judging the other person or anything judging another. It's it, it's in a system where it's a judgment system where success and failure comes into the picture. Uh, um, you know, uh, so. I have failed at it at this whole concept of binary. Okay. You're, you know, the binary, good, bad, 
you know uh, successful failure uh, uh, white black uh, you know anything you call it you know uh, tall short so ye binary i have failed at yeah completely i don't believe in binaries i i believe in non duality also middle grounds maybe it's, it's, non duality would be no a non duality is not middle ground then you know what i'm talking about no no explain i'm i'm you know i've i've learned about so many things i've forgot in a lot of things honestly i just <laughs> keep zen you know i like uh, if anyone asks me anything i keep so, krishna i keep zen i don't have anything else right now. so non non duality is to fi- uh, is to find uh, 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 is the uh, is the concept that there is no judgment okay okay you know and to embrace and accept everything around us as us as one so i'm talking about tolerance i'm talking about oh, inclusivity man. i'm talking about empathy i'm talking about love i'm talking about all of this okay okay so i i i i i you know good good that i asked you this question you know you never know where these kind of gems come out i never <laughs> expected i asked this question to a lot of people uh they would kind of give me and yeah. they obviously see everyone is different i did not ask uh, uh, you know kind of uh, think let me see <laughs> i might use this as our promo 325 mein mujhko promo mil why because i keep you know interesting parts i keep typing the videos might oh. just do it because this is a very interesting answer to a question a favorite failure so you have basically not stopped i i think this is something i can learn from a lot absolutely this is actually kind of going to help me because i am a very type a personality uh-huh. i need to kind of to know okay i am winning the battle or am i losing it and if i am losing it okay is is it the kind of the battle i am losing and i'm going to win the war or is i'm going to like completely lose the war so it's <laughs> man you know the things get so many complicated you know sometimes so i i sometimes yeah. just feel that you know life would have been much more easier if uh, but then again what's the fun we are not vegetarians <laughs> right so kya kya what see what's life without a bit of these things life is this you know <laughs> there i was somewhere reading uh, uh, most probably this was there that you know never in your life you'll feel completely adequate or completely oh. that you know you've uh, kind of reached the top oh. uh, and, and this is i don't know let me ask you this but i think you've already answered that because if you have you're not judging yourself as in you do not like as in failure and yeah, then you you're not obviously uh, getting into the uh, traps of perfectionism and uh, you know kind of trying to yeah it does not exist uh, so i used to be a perfectionist i used to be a perfectionist mm-hmm. for a long mm-hmm. time and i suffered a lot uh, uh and then i decided i had enough of suffering and i stopped being a perfectionist and i i do not even look for perfection anymore i just look for the flow and the flow state if you know what i'm sure you know what the flow I know, state is i know i know i know what is this flow state yeah you obviously yeah so i just like to look for the flow state and just find my joy and bliss there so i don't uh, so rather than finding per- perfection i like to find the flow state and you know be there hmm yeah so talking about flow you know this is again one of the examples of flow this hmm. does not require any kind of you know mujhko ye todna hai phonna hai mujhko ye ye is karna hai and see what is coming up from here so many jewels i and I, in a general week day i would kind of you know after ending work most probably i'll watch in netflix or maybe you know go out and something uh, but this is this is what you what happens when you're in flow right i feel i i'm i'm, I'm telling you, i feel the last 3 hours spent were like almost 30 minutes i'm like into meditation oh this is meditation yeah. actually this is absolutely yeah. meditation yeah. when you when you kind of talk on these things is is because again this is an answer very very i think makes a lot of sense uh okay the next question is 
if you could have a gigantic uh, gigantic billboard anywhere with anything on oh. it metaphorically speaking oh. okay getting a message what, what, what? out sorry sir message and why so it it can be a quotation it can be a haiku it can be a word or it's it can be a message whatever you know and why agar aisa kuch hota hai so tumko koi aake bola ke sweet your you know today is your lucky day i am going to put this on you just give me like a sentence man mujhko print karna hai we are doing this random experiment but it has mean something to you just breathe oh man this is i'm getting like gems after gems just breathe no okay. yes. right no that is that is full stop after that <laughs> great great just breathe okay fair enough the we are actually this is this is actually this episode is getting more zen you know like it's like super zen we are we are reaching zen okay uh there's another question okay oh. what is an unusual habit or an absurd oh. thing that you love unusual habit or an absurd thing that i love mm-hmm. oh unusual habit like like the like it is my habit or is it my unusual habit or or is it unusual to other people might be anything we are we are in a flow state you are <laughs> how you want to answer it <laughs> the habit that i have developed recently is uh uh oh okay uh, let me talk about from a more professional point of view from a cinematographical point of view uh, unusual habit that i have developed is to uh, to have uh, to plan less actually to plan less and uh, uh, to plan less and uh, be in the present moment and improvise the best outputs come from there i used to be a meticulous planner i used to plan everything plan a plan b plan c plan d uh, and now i don't plan i just go with a i, I just uh, um, like to go with the flow in the be in the present moment and just improvise that is a unusual habit that i am in love with but then how do you uh, so okay here i i i i understand where you're coming from where you're telling it and obviously the reason i'll ask you this i'm talking i'm talking in the context of cinematography filmmaking and all of that ha right in your in, so it it's not your whole life it's only when you're uh, uh, like doing your passionate or on your or your craft or your art right or i'm working you... when i'm working when i'm working acha you when you're working you're doing things uh, ad hoc that's what you're saying uh, how, uh, wh- how no it comes, no it's not, not ad hoc it's not ad hoc it's not ad hoc uh, okay so <laughs> previously we used to plan okay a uh, plan a we light like this we shoot like this we get this image plan b if we light like this if the sun goes down we light like this we shoot like this we get this image now i don't go with a plan a or a plan b now i say you uh, you know uh, there is a basic idea this is what we want to shoot and let's just get on to the floor and try to express ourselves this comes actually this comes this confidence comes after a decade of working it is not mm-hmm. it is it is not so simple that anybody can wake up and do this uh, mm-hmm. because uh, you are we are bound to make mistakes they are bound to have uh, you know there are bound to be uh, 
uh, surprises in this mm-hmm. process but uh, but it also what it does for me is it brings it surprises me in the most happiest way possible i get remarkable results without planning okay so creative yeah. strictly creative space yeah right? strictly creative yeah, yeah. because if you, if you do not plan how your life is going then your life is not going anywhere it's just flowing with the flow now if yeah, yeah as in not life like just creative and when you're doing something creative, yeah yeah about creativity letting yeah. the creative juices flow makes yes sense. yes yes great which brings me to the next question which was actually a bit later here but it's i think it would be a bit we can relate this uh as in <laughs> we talk creativity that is there uh, you said that you do not plan i'll come to the next question which is going to be absolutely about planning which is do you have a routine in your life i'm not talking about your work like i'll give you an example like how i have routines like i'm like i know when i'm going to wake up i know what i'm going to do after i'm going to wake up i basically know what i'm going to do tomorrow the whole day if some like the element of uh chance or the element of surprise is something which is obviously not in my hand agar something comes up you know that is obviously in the routine but i am very very like i know and i need this to kind of uh, i get very prop, uh, like uh, i do not know this is this is uh, because i am myself in general uh, not a very good you know like uh, as as uh, like very disorganized okay i'm like oh. obviously you you have a minute it's something that is obviously had got into me when i was an artist that idea the whole, and this oh. is a very wrong idea the artist has to be like you know like this and all that so oh. it had got into my personal life also oh. where i thought oh. okay you know like let me feel whatever i want to feel let me do whatever i want to do so that oh. is that's the reason for me uh, restrictions or uh, routines plans has to be very important because it's uh, else i have a tendency of getting into extremes and oh. i'm not kidding you when i'm saying this okay oh. i i can be the most uh, you know let's not get into it The, the, oh. the lesser we discuss on that the things that is going oh. to be chaos let's kind of put into that oh. way and to kind of not have chaos the only way is to having a restrictive uh, a predictive in, environment a predictive plan a predictive week a predictive day or a predictive year year to chodo year nahi kar sakte day is fine week is fine even weekends are very important for me like if i don't have my weekend planned oh. like right now i know what i'm going to do in the coming sunday i i, I know there's this person who i'm going to sit with for a podcast at 2 am at 2 pm after my lunch that is already closed you know that is how how i'm free because if i have a sunday that is free i don't know maybe i i get sometimes yeah so yeah so i do not want anything free i want because i also plan my leisure time so my next question is do you have routines in your personal life Uh, do you follow morning routines uh, or uh, so, any kind so of so one thing let me be very shape? clear yes i do i do ah. i do so let me be very clear uh, i am a freelancer correct so my life does not adhere to 9 uh, to 5 week days weekends aisa nahi hota hai so i generally exactly. end up working on sundays i shoot a lot on sundays saturday sundays because that is the day when everybody is available uh, locations are available and you can get to shoot there so there is nothing called a holiday for me so that's it took a while honestly to bring an understanding of of uh, how to live this kind of a life and uh, then i divided my life into two parts when i'm working and when i'm not working hmm. like for example when i'm not shooting or not doing recce or not doing meetings what am i doing that is my personal life and when i'm shooting doing recce doing meetings that's work 
so when i am so there are two different routines for it completely different routines for it there are routines there are completely different routines and i have adjusted myself to work uh, to slip from one to the other okay okay so uh, uh, one question i'm i'm a bit inquisitive about like obviously hmm. right now we are having this conversation your most probably your other phone is silent hmm. but in general do you keep your phone silent or do you keep it ring when you're not sleeping obviously but just i just answer to... yes or no to acha you used <laughs> to keep it silent okay silent but now i don't because work might into some work uh, work call might come and everything na no? uh generally so when... the iphones are hmm. iphones are very smart these days you know so uh, they when they have a snooze timer they they go into snooze mode from 11 uh, 1 o'clock in the night to 7 o'clock in the morning automatically Mm-hmm. Hello. You are you you got cut, you got cut off yeah yeah I can I, I can hear you. Yes ah, sir. Did you did you hear me what I said? That was uh, the iPhone snooze. 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 Okay. See, I I'll tell. You, I don't know if you're aware of that. Uh, your do not yeah. disturb mode. When yeah. someone is going to call you, they are going to find if it's an iPhone. And this is I've yeah. learned it the hard way. I don't know if you're aware of it. I'm <laughs> sure you're you're aware. And if you specifically have a Geo phone, I don't know the Geo network. I don't know which network you use. Uh, all my phones yeah. are on you know kind of Geo uh, because it just makes sense. It's just like what I use. Okay, so hmm. if you put your phone. your iphone not the android okay on do, do not disturb the other person on the other end will hear the person you're calling is busy that <laughs> can create life changing have a experience decision, experiences which oh, you yeah. do not want uh-huh. to, you are aware of that uh-huh. right you're aware of that <laughs> yeah 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 Yes, yeah. please, please be very careful because I, <laughs> I had done that. I and I had did not realize this for almost uh, one year that I have been doing this. And people, yeah. you know, some people were like, when I called, with, you were busy. You did not call me back. I'm like, why the hell were you <laughs> busy? I, I did not even get your phone. I saw a missed call. I called back. Kind of no, you were busy. What and and I I and, and you no, know, it was like so. Then I thought, okay, fair enough. One person. Second, it would be that why were you busy on your phone like at three a.m. in the you know at three three a.m. at night? Like <laughs> man, I am sleeping. You call me, how will you? And I did not see any other call also. Yeah. And then it also became the problem became more. Like if if huh. it's on a Sunday, and I I used huh. to love that do not disturb mode. If yeah. it's on a Sunday or a weekend, I, and I obviously with genuine reasons I've kept it in D and D, and a work call might have come, which is was very serious work call, hmm. and a very important person from work might have called. Hmm. I'm not saying it might be have been my boss. Thankfully, it has never been. But <laughs> think of the chances of this. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I can like, understand. Think of the chances on a Sunday you have put your phone on D and D. You think <laughs> the world is just thinking phone is ringing, but your boss is calling you or your work or some emergency happen. You put it on busy. You they will think you have cut their phone on their face. Yes. So deal trade that very you know very very yeah. So nowadays what I've done is that I. Use my nowadays. I basically I have got three phones. Okay, I don't mm. use my because this iPhone is a problem because it does not have a true call. As it has a true caller, but it's basically you have to ask the true caller to pull up the number mm. and all that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I use my iPhone because I'm not carrying my camera here. Okay, as in mm. my DSLR, I'm not carrying as just mm. a media device as a you know kind of mm. uh, f- like taking pictures. and you know whatever social media that is there i have another oh. android phone which has my previous number which has only the oh. phone calls coming 
Hmm. And with this always silent. Ah. Hmm. Bliss of it. Anyone calling? Phone is going to ring. Let it ring. This number, the updated number, only some few people have, which you also have. Hmm. Uh, the hmm. that's a VIP number that I took, obviously. <laughs> uh, I like to, you know, because I, I I got a new number after most probably twenty years. It's, because ending me nine one two three a oh man I was like oh I am feeling special <laughs> the egos the stupid things you do you know kind of <laughs> or your ego trips but that that is good you know that is that is where only the people who are important and that's on an Android hmm. that I put on D and D sometimes uh, but uh, good thing about Android is that you know you cannot they will not cut off the phone so hopefully you know that hopefully. Yeah. Uh, I, I I made a huge lecture on this because I have suffered and I've suffered very <laughs> badly and I, I did not even that. know I was suffering. You know, I was getting kind of cold treatment for that. Like uh, everyone yeah. was thinking I was I'm a snob and I'm not you know kind of uh, like I'm I'm cutting. How will you think like I'm cutting people's phone off? Like that's the biggest form of disrespect. Hmm. Like in the normal age, like. At least the thing would be a cut kar ke ek message kar do, jo bhi hai, you know, the normal people with the so anyways, Choro, let's not get into that. Uh so you do not you can kind of put it on um, yeah. Ye, uh, but then you you revert back and all these things. Yeah, of course. that was okay. We are almost you know at 345. I want to kind of end this uh, um, like Within keep this within four hours so that it's a reasonable amount of time <laughs> because it's a trailer <laughs> hai, pura marke, to four hour mera aa jai, bhai, hai. and I, I like this I like this chunk I like this direction it's going and this is what I want to help because uh, I will go through this and obviously this is like a buffet of a lot of things that is flowing and I trust me both me and you are also not aware of the uh, humongous, the uh, you know uh, amount of stuff that we have discussed. It once the and you know I'll tell you one thing that I actually want to want to do with this is, as I said, you know I've got like episodes which are uh, obviously piled up. That is a, that is uh-huh. a different way this is going, and uh-huh. uh, there is <clears throat> again another thing that is the shootings are coming up. Oh. And which I did with when I turned virtual, even with the episode when I did it with Martin and uh, Devashish, mm-hmm. I plan to release this. Let's see. I'm not making anything. If I'm able to do it, I plan to release this in this week itself. Maybe coming <laughs> Saturday. I can I can do it in in a day if I if I get any time tomorrow also. I can mm-hmm. do it in a day. I want to see how uh, efficient I am. You understand everything. Oh. So that's the idea. Let's see. I'm not promising anything, but that's uh, that's that's where the metal. And then I will be able to, you know, it's like there's a thing. I don't know if you know that, that you know, uh, MVP. You know what's the full form hmm. of MVP? Hmm? The min- minimum Most value bad. kind of key. Yeah. So my, yeah. huh, my thing would be that, you know, since I'm starting this uh, virtual from Bangalore, hmm. this would be the best way of kind of starting it. <clears throat> to kind of see, you know, how how the things are kind of going, and I will be more because see, I've already got formats. One in my home, one is that is virtual already going on. Ye format yeah. mein agar diya na, wo thoda ye aa jayega, yeah. josh aa jayega. Aray, bhai, ek to kiya hai. Iske baad I can kind of do, and I'll, I'll be able to kind of see. So that is the yeah. idea. I'm very kind of happy about it. Yeah. I will ask uh, you uh, one thing that you know. When you feel overwhelmed, okay, mm-hmm. or when you feel not focused, mm-hmm. or maybe you're when you're working, to, you know, you have just lost focus temporarily. What mm-hmm. do you do immediately to kind of, you know, uh, you know, what questions do you ask yourself? How do you kind of bring yourself <laughs> back from a non-focused state to a focused state? Uh, that depends on the level of overwhelm, yeah, emotional. Basically, being overwhelmed is like being emotional, right? How so? How much I have become emotional? Uh, that depends on that, or what is the gravity of the situation actually? To lose focus. So let's give me a, let's give an example. 
imagine uh i had an argument imagine i had an argument with a person who i um, you know who is very close to me mm-hmm. and uh, so after that argument it would mm-hmm. i would actually have to if i emotionally disturbed i have to sit mm-hmm. on a 20 minute meditation to bring my focus back okay and if it is a small duration where i have just lost my focus because of fatigue or because of something else uh i go into body awareness here directly body awareness means i am looking at my breath i am looking at what is the problem it's like basically riding the wave it's a cognitive behavioral therapy thing CBT. it's basically mm-hmm. figuring out uh you know uh, what is happening with me what is the emotion that i am feeling i ask myself a lot of questions basically Okay. uh who is feeling that uh what is behind this feeling what is the true purpose of the feeling all of that so this takes around a one or two minutes time and it brings me back to the focus state what do you do when you feel that you've been wronged like and this is a ethical moral i generally do not ask moral questions because i am hmm. uh, i know this world is like kind of very immoral nowadays and we are very used to uh we have become very uh, you know what should i say at least the folks i know uh we have become very cold and very thick skinned but still uh what do you do when uh you think that you know something has been done to you or something has happened to you which is unjust this is a question of this is a moral question okay this is like i'm, oh. I'm talking on level of first oh. of all let me ask you do you believe in uh, god are you religious do you believe in god i am agnostic okay okay i believe in god but not in the religious really in a religion sense i believe in a non dual uh, god i believe in that that uh, uh, human uh, human life is a is a mm-hmm. is a is a is a part of journey of the soul and everything is connected to the universe okay yeah so that's what i believe in and when i am wronged uh the thing that i do the most what do i do you ask me what do i do when i feel mm-hmm. that i'm wrong mm-hmm. i try mm-hmm. my level best to not react just not react hmm because i need time to to gain perspective when i feel that i have been wrong that means i have I, i my balance is off so i need time to gain perspective so the first thing on the or, or, or the best thing that i can do is not react at all hmm St- but stay with the feeling in my own time and gain perspective on the situation okay and once you have the perspective then kind of take what then the situation action. resolves itself yeah okay okay do you think that there's justice there's uh, like good wins wins over evil as a kuch like since good people get uh, like you know there's this uh, thing ke uh, like i'm again talking on a very uh, like macro view very larger view here like if you've been good good things happen to you do you feel that 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 is somewhere a sense of justice in how things work or do you think that okay you know everything is kind of co- uh, kind of uh, corrupt anyways and this is a nihilistic kind of uh, see i don't look at the i don't look at life in binary i am repeating myself right, i believe right 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 i don't look at things in binary in good and evil you know i see a pattern in things mm-hmm. what is somebody's good can be somebody's evil what is somebody who somebody's terrorist can be somebody's uh, freedom fighter correct mm. that's what the british has taught us no so good and evil are Uh, you know 
which side of the justice system are you depends on that makes sense no. because i have felt time and again that uh, it's a perspective mm -hmm. that is more important mm -hmm. than judgment okay perspective i think that is a very good takeaway i'll take that away you know see the whole point of kind of having these questions is again a bit of selfish you know trying to gain from your experience and not you know kind of <laughs> you know <laughs> like learn from others experiences that's the idea behind it because oh. uh yeah mm, so that was i think very very kind of uh, profound and we are almost kind of at the end of it i would uh, you know then the, the the idea was not only to have sri uh, the artist the creator or uh, you know the cinematographer whatever tag that goes i'm not uh, more of more of a tag person that is obviously uh, in your professional field uh, i'm sure you know that is there uh, that is always going to be there but uh, the idea was to have this the idea was to kind of have a holistic organic discussion on life itself on art and everything having said that i do want to know what are the current thing that you are working on or anything that is upcoming that uh, we might be kind of you know interested in or you want to kind of share anything that you've been uh, you know that's you know kind of you're working on uh, right yeah now, so currently uh, i'm working on commercials mostly but uh, look out mm. for this film called sanduk uh, it's going to come out sometime okay. this year or next uh, okay. it's in post production right now uh hopefully okay. it will okay. be a uh, visual pleasure okay great great since you mentioned post production you know ke ek question se to question aa jata hai ek i i, I oh. try to end things but what one question ka oh. answer mein aur ek question aa jata hai oh. so you are more of a you know you 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 are a cinematographer but you are at the end of oh. a day a film guy right Mm -hmm. I'm sure you were you you have those uh, you've done your kind of uh, basics and obviously advanced in when you've been kind of uh, learning uh, your craft uh, oh. at your film school FTI or maybe later I don't know with, oh. uh, while seeing other folks working. Uh, this is obviously a bit very different question here oh. because I'm an editor myself. Okay, oh. this that's the reason I ask you. Uh, oh. have you been uh, like actively involved in editing ever yes like editing i'm not huh yes yes of okay. course okay so so what are the tools that you use so like i use fcp so what are the tools that you kind of mm -hmm. use which which software are you same, most same, same. professional fcp okay same 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 fcp premier both for premier for for me the FCP. fundamentals are same uh, for me same, because i learned right. it uh, the fundamentals are the same it's not what software i use it's where i place the cut Correct, correct, correct. This is this. Anyway, this is the same thing because both Logic and uh, Logic Pro X and uh, these Ableton, the same uh, DAW question. That is the you know, the only as, thing. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, as you uh, know, the DaVinci my... Resolve. Yes, of course. DaVinci Resolve. You know. Okay. Yes. I have to yet to try it. So, DaVinci so as Resolve. as my uh, teacher in FTI, uh -huh. Mr. Narya, uh -huh. Mr. Bipin Bipin Chandra Narya, who has been the teacher for our entire generation of cinematographers. uh used to say that uh, it is not the camera but the eye behind the camera that is more important mm -hmm. you know it's the eye that makes if you have the eye any camera with any camera you can create uh, an image if you don't have the eye you can, you uh, or uh, you have a underdeveloped eye uh, then uh, uh, you can get as more most expensive cameras in the world but still the mm. output becomes very you know okay final question yeah and i generally don't ask this question i i this is the question i've always kept and this is the first time on the show i'm asking anyone this question yeah. because i think this is a this is a perfect uh, kind of uh, uh, you know 
the mood has become like that which is where <laughs> i want to kind of ask but this is a very morbid question though but uh, okay. most of life's uh, uh, kind of uh, real answers come when we reflect on morbidity okay? yeah uh, that is very important so so it's uh, it's a two uh, half question the first is mm-hmm. that and then again don't freak out if you don't want to answer that is okay if you have got superstitions and if this scares you just say oh man rai why did you even ask me this question now my oh. whole kind of night i'm going to be thinking of it and getting into a morbid depressive state and maybe we must really talk with my therapist mm-hmm. I have to go to therapy and all that blah 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 <laughs> then i have to go to him and no 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 you you just stop your kanda if you if you could choose to exit Oh. as in exit not by your own choice as in i'm not uh, saying that you you will uh, end things i'm saying if you had to choose an an age where you wanted uh, the you know the larger power to kind of exit you from the world yes what would be the age and at that age what would you have wanted to have achieved by the time uh, a very natural exit would have occurred yeah man somewhere in the 90s maybe you want to live till your 90s yeah okay. actually no, my no, family sorry sorry has... i i came up. okay okay sorry sorry <laughs> actually my <laughs> family almost everybody lives till the 90s <laughs> Okay, okay. And what, what, what do you would would you want to have achieved uh, uh, till? I now? want what, to. What would be the perfect? Yeah. The only thing that I want to achieve, I don't want to achieve it actually. I wish for. The only thing I want to wish for is to be in bliss and joy every moment of my life. Okay. Every moment That's you it. want to be in bliss. Right? Yes. Okay. Every moment I want to be in bliss and joy. and you want to retire in pune i don't know whether well, retirement is something that i have not thought about in life uh, that's something that okay. uh, is a that's something i don't know right now i, I okay. actually i don't know man never thought about retirement frankly i chose to become a cinematographer because of two reasons one reason is i can travel at somebody else's money and second i don't have to retire okay fair enough makes sense and uh well that kind of that was the last question i didn't have anything else i wanted to kind of <laughs> understand where when you be completely satisfied that is something so the reason why i asked and ended i, I generally never end with a morbid question and we have already into 4 hours 1 minute 30 seconds man this is like crazy and i do not i'll, I'll, I'll tell you i do not feel tired I'm awake <laughs> from six a.m. in the morning. I've done a full shift. I've traveled to office. I've cycled through office. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff the whole day. <laughs> And uh, after that finishing, I got into four hours podcast recording. And I still feel I most probably I'll eat something. I'll cook something. I need or maybe a lauder. But I feel you know this is one of the most uh, brilliant podcasts that. at least i'm i'm very proud of this you know man i'll, I'll be very very proud of this i this is for me uh, yeah you're most welcome man and, and absolutely thank you and I, i'm grateful I, uh, i'm grateful that yeah, we yeah. could do this i'm very grateful that this is going to be you know this is going to be freezed in time <laughs> i'm very very grateful this is going to be any time i want to kind of you know say in any uh, say in an evening i really want to kind of get back to that zen vibe i know i just need to click this Four hours is sorted. It's like like binging on your own voice <laughs> and your own zen. And I don't know how narcissistic it sounds, but uh-huh. it, it is something you know, like kind of a yeah. So good, good. Uh, thanks, thanks once again. You know, the, I do not have any formalities with you. I, I generally kind of do Thank these you. formalities when I end, uh, uh, you know, uh, a podcast with anyone. But obviously, you know, I'm very heartful. Thanks that uh, you took so much time of yours. That also, you know. again time is a bigger currency of my uh, than money that's the first thing you took so much of your time and kind of came into uh, our show, small show and also this new format this a bedroom uh, virtual format but i think you know i've been as a 
kind of podcast enthusiasts myself i find these formats the best trust me because mm. we are completely yeah. relaxed there's no sense mm. of you know kind of uh, urgency or anything and i think the best kind of mm. uh, you know moods get out of it and we kind of you know when mm. we were setting up the lighting and all these things you saw right how this kind of went mm-hmm. so again thanks one again bhuvan kind of uh, for coming in i really kind Thank of you. wish that you know uh, you do not only grow as an artist as in only a cinematographer but i this is my latent itch uh, like itch <laughs> par bangla ki hai desire wish, ha wish wish, wish, wish latent wish that i i told you that which i kind of want i have told you that you know um uh, so that um that is um, an uh, output from your end that is creative output <laughs> that's not governed by any uh, xyz i would be waiting I, i'm not expecting it to you know kind of you know happen it's uh, you know right away but i'm sure you know kind of that's going to happen so that's one yeah. thing so all the best for that i'm um, just let me know and uh, let me know when are you coming if when if when are you coming to bangalore agar kuch hai and then we can always kind of chat up uh you know catch up on things nothing else uh, once again thanks for joining in thank you That's thank it. you i'm really grateful thank you bye yeah bye bye bon have a great day bye